I got it. I agree, Jonathan Joestar. Such a good intro. Still one of my favorite Silent Hill game intros. Um, Tinkerbell, thank you so much for the 28 months. Welcome back. Thanks for 28 wonderful months. Here's to more. You rock nubs. Thank you very much. Really, really appreciate that. Hope you're doing well tonight. And you've definitely been around for a lot more than 28 months. I recognize everybody who's... I recognize everybody who's been here. Even since before uh, part anniversary. Hey, Program Max. Thank you. What's up, NDR40? Am I playing on original hardware or an emulator? I'm playing on Duck Station. Uh, which is a PC emulator. It's uh, good quality as far as the capture for stream. It's just easier to play and stream. I'm not using any uh, modifications. So we're playing with original graphics and, you know, 4 by 3 ratio. All of that stuff for Silent Hill 1. So it's still uh, trying to keep to the authentic experience as much as possible without busting out the old PS1. But I do have a PS1. I do have physical copies of Silent Hill 1. Um, we basically have, at, between me and Rachel, at least two copies of everything. More than that in some games' cases. Yeah, we used to have two copies of Book of Memories. Cheryl? There's still one around the house Cheryl? somewhere. It's hidden away. My maniac. Where are you going? My hey, wait. Maniac. Stop. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Gilga22. Very much appreciate it. Thank you so much. It split its soul. Book of Memories split its soul right before I burned it in the candle.
Yo, what's updating? Happy part anniversary. Almost my seven year follow versary too. Nice. Hope fundraising goes well. Thank you. My yard exploded. <laughs> so. I was talking about it earlier, but yeah, very much appreciate, uh, especially right now, any any love and support from everybody. But yeah, we uh, we've basically got to replace all of the the water pipes running through our yard to the main. And it's not gonna be fun. What is this? What's going on here? What's going on here? Wizzy! Wizzy, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Very much appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Losama, uh, what in your opinion is the holy grail of Silent Hill physical coffins? Um, just from a collector standpoint, I want to say right now the most valuable Silent Hill game that you can have is an unopened, uh, completely sealed, new in box, Was PlayStation I Two copy How do you feel? of Silent Hill: Shattered Memories. Oh, like I've been run over by a truck, but I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. There are things that are more rare, here? technically. Why don't you tell there me? There are things happened? that are more sought after. Wait a second, technically. I'm just a tourist. But in general, right now, with I just got here. Collectors' prices on everything in the franchise. I don't know what happened. PS2 copies of Shattered Memories, like even find used, out myself. are some of the most expensive uh -huh. things. Have you seen a little girl? Like one of the most expensive Just Silent Hill games seven last that you can get right now. Short black hair. I've seen them My going daughter. for like four or five hundred dollars, and people paying Sorry. that. The only person I've seen in this town is Jumble you. Tough. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew. Believe Jumble me. Tough. Thank you so much for the ten gift subs. From what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. Something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Hmm. I'm a police officer What's from Bray, the next town over. Harry. <laughs> Harry Mason. Sybil the Bennett. Sybil dialogue. Overlapping with the alerts. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. Just chillin'. Thank you so much for Phones the 67 months. Welcome and back. And too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. Worst American ever. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Take my spare gun. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. You know, I've made that joke before, and, and people... Me by mistake. In some of the old... Got YouTube it? comments. Yeah, thanks. Got really upset. We're talking you about how stay nearby. many, many officers have like a secondary gun. Very commonly. Okay, just a joke. You didn't watch the hostage situation video. Exactly. Need to watch uh, that and surviving edged weapons. 
Um, just chilling. Thank you again so much for the 67 months. Welcome back. The Nubster best dad in gaming. I don't claim any of you as children. Uh, specifically for tax and emotional purposes. Thank you so much, Just Chillin'. Very, very much appreciate it. Tinkerbell, thank you so much for the 666 bits. Hell Satan. Thank you, Tinker. Tinkerbell. And Jumble Tough, thank you again so much. For the 10 gift subs, uh, B-Girl Nat, G-Man 436, Joe Shaw, uh, Sonri, Retro Assassin, Program Max, Utave Plays, Lopan, Regal Knight, and Fallout Pro 21. Enjoy your subs and resubs, courtesy of Jumble Tough. Thank you so much, Jumble Tough. Really, really appreciate all the love and support, you guys. residential area map can't move as soon as you pick up the map because you want to look at this camera angle get this nice shot of the air screamer there it goes someday someone may experience these bizarre events hopefully they will find my notes useful someday someday is going to be about seven hours from now when we're playing silent hill 3 I'm going to try to just kind of play through the games. We're What's gonna that? watch cutscenes. I'm not skipping any cutscenes. Huh. And I'm not going to do any What's major going on with that radio? skips or anything. But it's not going to be super in-depth. Like 12-hour playthrough per game. We're not doing that either. It's a marathon. I want to try to show off this many is games. Dream. Happening to this place. Give me that radio. Pocketo radio. <clears throat> Honestly, if I ever wake up in some kind of dimensional nightmare, I would write notes and try to leave audio logs. <laughs> Guess I'll check that alley again. Cyborg vision. I still love that weird visual effect of zooming. I'm going to grab some extra ammo because we are playing on hard mode. For funsies. Yami, thank you so much for the 100 bits. No more rituals. First book of memories, then the AI took what evil you've unleashed. Yeah, I know. I know. We gotta we gotta just stop doing rituals, I think. You're a hundred percent right. Any particular ending you're shooting for all the games? Uh not really. I don't I don't have any sort of game plan. Um I do want to try to play things like not too long ago. I did a uh, Silent Hill 1 through 3 speedrun marathon. It was going to also include 4, but then my cats started fighting and I had to end the stream abruptly. Um, but I did 1 through 3 kind of recently. So I kind of want to do maybe some different games this time around. I like starting off with one, just because it's the original. It's the OG. One of my favorites. But then maybe we can figure out either doing a scam point vote or uh, something like that from Brams, the next town over. to uh, to figure out what we play next. Mm -hmm. 
Xander. Xanderkins, thank you so much. Ow. 84 months. Whoops, this should have been where those seven whole asses went. <laughs> Thank you so much, Xander. Very much appreciate it. Miss you, dude. Hope you're doing well. Hope you and G are both doing really well. Much love. Time to waste some scam points. Um, we could also just do some scam points to determine endings. Since I'm not really uh, aiming for anything in, in particular. If people want to see a specific ending. We could leave that up to some scam points as well. We've got a little while before we need to start doing stuff to figure out what ending we're getting with Silent Hill 1. I guess we'll start... Yay. I guess we'll start voting on it now. What Silent Hill game should we play in order? Who made this poll? Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 3, Silent Hill 4, Silent Hill Origins, Book of Memes, and Ascension! Exclamation point. Some may or may not be a scam. Thank you, Yami. <laughs> oh, man. It also completely fucks up the chat window. <laughs> when it puts the... Uh, predict on screen and I don't think I have a way to get rid of that yeah. well it's not it's it's not mine it's capturing through a browser source it's not my actual chat um, I guess you know we'll just hide chat for now and then when that window goes away <laughs> Shoot. Shit. It's fine. We're gonna go get that doghouse. Hate to break it to the Ascension people, and I accidentally closed... Well, not accidentally, but... I, I closed it so I can't see the results. I mean, I figure people are gonna go first. You know what? If that's what the people want, I wasn't going to revisit Ascension until it was over. But if that's what the people want, I'll go back to where I stopped watching and we'll watch a few episodes. Maybe we can see Rachel. Oh, yeah. Because we, we didn't show that on stream. That happened after we'd already stopped. And you'd already deleted your fucking account. And somehow still showed up in Silent Hill Ascension as a cameo. Rachel's character, for anyone who doesn't know. she Rachel deleted her account when we were done with Ascension. At the end of November. Uh, the start of December. We deleted our accounts. We're, we were not kidding. We were done with it. And, uh, like three weeks later, Rachel's character showed up as a cameo. And other people in, in our community Discord had said that stuff from their accounts had been showing up in cameos and in, uh, like, decision polls, uh, influence point usage and stuff like that. So there's a there's a, a pretty good chance that allegedly 
we gotta bring back allegedly talking back talking about ascension um that they're just using deleted and deactivated accounts to sort of fake engagement because so few people are legitimately engaging with it allegedly the nowhere is here thank you for a full year 12 months very much appreciate that resub thank you very very much Someone could have just made another account with the same name at the same time that you deleted yours and recreated the avatar exactly the same, even though Rachel, like, never streamed it or showed her avatar or her character. Um, oh yeah, so for donations, I'm not, I don't have a, a bot set up, and, uh, I'm not using stream elements or anything integrated with Twitch like that, and Twitch doesn't have a way to, like, integrate PayPal into Twitch alerts, because I'm using the integrated Twitch alerts now, instead of, like, a third-party thing. Um... But yeah, Twitch doesn't have a way to integrate that because yeah, exactly. So, should be able to manually So yeah, you can tip through PayPal directly. I'll have to manually check it and and look up messages and stuff. But yeah, there's just no way to make it trigger an alert right now. Just the way I've got things set up currently. Because I don't really want to use third-party stuff if I don't have to. Like Stream Elements. And uh, Stream Labs. Whatever I used before that. The what game one? I stepped away. Did we get results already? All right, let me take a moment. This show if people left messages, it does. Uh, so G, non binary G, uh, and Xander, thank you so much for the fifteen dollars. And uh, Yami, doing something so disgusting. Oh my god, everything's going on. Oh man, alerts are not showing up correctly. Nothing is working right. It's perfect. I've learned nothing in my seven years as a Twitch partner. Welcome everyone to the partnerversary. <laughs> and Candy Quartz, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, I'm Nub Zombie. I'm going to play a whole lot of Silent Hill. It's what I've been doing. For many years, it's what I plan to continue doing. And today, especially, we're celebrating partner anniversary. Seven years of being a Twitch partner. And uh, trying to raise some money to help me pay for my yard and garage flooding. And needing to replace all of the water pipes uh, outside of my house. It's very fun. My entire yard's about to get dug up. So... Yeah, that's where we're at today. And I'm going to play a whole lot of Silent Hill. Um, and I'm trying to pull up... I've got a tip from Yami. Yami, thank you so much for $100. Uh, it says, man, burning that copy of Book of Memories just unleashed 
all kinds of bad juju, didn't it? No more rituals. Yeah, no more rituals. I think we're we're officially at that point. Thank you so much, Yami. That is incredibly generous. Thank you so much. And thank you again, G, Xander, uh, Candy Quartz. Thank you for the raid. If any of my mods can do a shout out, if you haven't already. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Shout out for Candy Quartz. Thank you again so much. All right. Silent Hill. We're playing all of the Silent Hill games. By all of them, I mean as many of them as I can. Uh, while I maintain consciousness, eventually I'll pass out and can no longer play Silent Hill games. And that is where this marathon will end. Uh, so I need to fucking book it. We're almost an hour into the stream. And I'm in Midwich in Silent Hill 1. human limitations sorry about the flood yeah I mean it sucks it's just one of those things one of those wonderful parts of uh, owning a home Happy to be able to finally raid you. Love the Silent Hill series so much. Thank you so much again for that raid. And yeah, we definitely uh, have a lot of love for the Silent Hill series here. The good ones, anyway. <laughs> Everyone can argue for the next 18 hours over which ones are the good ones. Get off my balls. <laughs> They're all good. What do you mean? <laughs> exactly. There's never been a bad Silent Hill game. So did Ascension win? <laughs> uh, Silent Hill 4 won 52% Ascension with 41% Silent Hill 3 with 4% Silent Hill 2 with 3% Oranges and Book of Memes got nothing Really? Not even joke votes? No one wasted scam points on that? <laughs> Stopped keeping up with Ascension. Book of Memes. Didn't even process Book of Memes, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even Book of Memories. It was just Book of Memes. I'm not wasting <laughs> fake channel-specific internet points on Book of Memories. Hey. I'm not going to judge anybody for how they choose to invest or otherwise in their nub zombie scam points, TM. Wait. Am I stupid? <laughs> Um, that one, isn't it? I'm so good at speed running. Remembering things. We'll just solve the puzzle. Greedy Pelican. Okay. It's the first white key. Silent Dove, farthest right. Oh, that's the one I'm doing wrong. 
Raven, Crow, Swan. I forgot my birds. I forgot my birds. How could I? And yeah, Cat Mech. Rachel is sitting here with me to mock me in person. <laughs> Actually, I need to go out the other way. No. We're fine. chat don't post here often but wanted to tell y'all i've uh, been making friends on discord through silent hill 3 via screen share making them figure out the puzzles they're stuck on cock robin everyone's favorite silent hill puzzle tale of cock robin um yeah that's that's a pain in the ass puzzle honestly that one i might have less love for that one when it comes to Silent Hill 3, compared to even Shakespeare. God. The radio static is the best sound in humanity. Pretty good. Specifically the radio static in this game, because it's pretty different from game to game. Fuck the math part of Shakespeare? True. Uh, augmented. Hey, Nubs, is your favorite Silent Hill... Who is your favorite Silent Hill side character? Does it correlate with your favorite game? Well, Silent Hill 2 is my favorite game. Um, I do... Like a lot of the side characters in 2... But, no. I would say probably Douglas. I'd say probably Douglas in three. Got a lot of love for Douglas. Vincent is also pretty high up there. I like Vincent a lot as a character. Um... And I, he's one of those characters that I wish there was a little bit more of his story in 3. They actually do expand a little bit on Vincent's history in, like, the, the mobile games. The Silent Hill... Orphan series? So, yeah. It goes into a little bit more about Vincent's past. Oh, I just need to go through the clock tower. I'm like getting ahead of myself. I'm trying to figure out why things aren't right. We need to go to the other world. We turned on the thing. There we go. 
They gave Vincent a lot of history and revelation. We don't talk about that, Vincent. We don't talk about Jon Snow. Douglas is a pretty good one. I think Vincent's a bit more Where interesting, but wish he had the characterization, uh, like the two scenes we got. Yeah, more characterization other than the two Have scenes I we got with him. Before? Although same thing with uh, with with Douglas, I would argue. I would play a whole fucking game of just hmm. private investigator goes to Spooky Town. I'd play a whole Douglas game. He says he's been to Silent Hill before on a missing persons case. He knows that Silent Hill is like a fucked up weird place. I would love to play that game. I would love to play the Douglas game and see what that previous time he went there for was, who the missing person was, because a lot of people speculate James. And I mean, that would be the most obvious thing for them to, for the devs to make a reference to, but he never specifically says who the missing person was that he was looking for. So that could be a whole, that could be a whole game. I'm dead. I forgot we're playing hard mode. And I'm terrible at Midwitch. I get grabbed constantly. But yeah, I, I love Douglas as a character. Silent Hill 3, I feel like, even though 2, I love Silent Hill 2. It is my favorite game of the series. But when it comes to a lot of very specific things, I'd say overall Silent Hill 3 has better characters than Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 has some very good characters. Don't get me wrong. But I like a lot of the side characters in 3. Like, you don't... I feel like there's so much more that I would have loved to have gotten from basically any side character in 2 or 3. Like, for Silent Hill 2, I would have loved a Born from a Wish type scenario for just about every character in that game. But the same could be said for three. Characters in three feel stronger because we get more of them, if that makes sense. Mm. I feel like there's less of the weird, like, Lynchian sort of stilted eeriness when it comes to the characters in three. Like, for two, it the, that works, that characterization works um, for that scenario. But for three, everyone feels a little bit more normal quote-unquote, normal, if that makes any sense. Like, they're not quite so awkward and, and dreamy and stilted uh, as they come off in 2. Because with Silent Hill 2, a lot of the time it feels like you're not really... Um, you're, you're never really getting to experience the real... what those characters would be like outside of the town. You're just seeing this particular side of them. Whereas Silent Hill 3, everyone comes off as a lot more, I guess, authentic right away. Like, Vincent is not super upfront about who he is, but you get a pretty clear-cut idea of his character right away. And you get the idea that he's like that no matter what. You know, whether he's talking to Heather or, you know, talking to other cult members, you hear that like um, cassette tape of Vincent talking with one of the other cult members 
and um, you get the idea that he's he's talks the same way. He's got the same kind of mannerisms. Uh, he still is like kind of sneaky in in his approach. Pretty sneaky guy. Hey, Lovelorn. Welcome on in. Thank you for joining in the candy raid earlier. Cheryl. That was Cheryl's voice. I know it. Where is she? Cheryl. Yeah, the very patient bug here that's gonna... Yep, I'm like... There's no way I'm gonna avoid damage. This bug's going to bite my ankle. Patiently waiting bite my ankle as soon as I'm done talking on the phone. Go up to the roof. Just out of reach. If only I had a perfectly sized pink rubber ball. For just such an occasion. Giggity. All oh, right, we can probably have chat my phone. Um, until the next scam points thing. That's on me. I just need to find a better way to put chat on there. track of how much stuff I'm going through. One more first aid. Shells, six there. 113. Am I using bullet adjust? Nope. Just hard mode, just picking stuff up. Not really using too much. mode damage. Oh. Silent Hill 1, still the best singulars uh, Silent Hill installment for you, Silent Evil. For a good amount of time, I'd stand by Silent Hill 1 best, Silent Hill 2 your favorite. Oh, that you consider 1 the best game, but 2 is your, your personal favorite. Thanks. Okay. I feel, personally, Silent Hill 2 is my favorite, and I feel like it's the best standalone game, where you can play nothing else in the entire franchise. You just play Silent Hill 2 and kind of appreciate it for what it is. You don't have to play anything before it or after it. Whereas like 3, in a lot of ways, I think is a better game. But 
to really appreciate it on the same level as you you could appreciate two by itself, you kind of have to play one to go along with three. Uh, Shadow Noises. I almost wanted to say Shadow Moses. Can't stop saying Shadow Moses. Uh, thank you so much for six months in advance. I always forget that's a thing you can do. Shadow Noises, thank you so much for the six months up front. I'm going to do my best to not uh, have any horrible illnesses. <laughs> and uh, other major issues. So that hopefully you can get a lot of value out of those six months. Next six months should hopefully be... A lot more regular streams. It's just been... Been a little bit of a rough start to this year. Not gonna lie. Please stop putting knives in my butt. Not a fan. Don't enjoy it. Where else should they put them? Not butt. Sunderland and the Magic Pillow. And James Sunderland and his amazing Technicolor Dream Pillow. There's, there's the joke. <laughs> now you just have to do a, a Photoshop mock-up of the VHS cover. <laughs> As played by Donny Osmond. I don't know. I think there, there could be worse casting decisions for James Sunderland than Donny Osmond. Speaking of which, who's excited for Return to Silent Hill? Can't wait to see Christoph Gans's take on Silent Hill 2. And I say this as somebody who unironically likes the first Silent Hill movie as a distinct separation from the games. Like, I don't think it's a fucking award-winning masterpiece adaptation or anything, but it's an entertaining movie. It's, it's, it's absolute schlock, and I love that kind of stuff. but it's just not a very good representation of the games. So we'll see what Kristoff does with Silent Hill 2. The fuck did we watch with the James voice actor for Silent Hill 2 Remake? Oh, we did watch a movie that had um, Luke Roberts recently. Fuck, what was it? What did we watch? For those who don't know, Luke Roberts is the actor who's going to be doing the voice and mocap for James in the Bloober Team remake. And, um, like, he's he's an actor actor. He's He's been in a bunch of stuff. Uh, movies and TV shows and something. And we watched something with him in it, and I don't remember what. Wasn't the menu, was it? 
trying to think what movies we've even seen recently. Oh, the Del Toro thing. Cabinet Curiosities. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was a character in the Guillermo del Toro Cabin of Curiosities series. That was it. Heard the menu was good. The menu was awesome. Great movie. Open your mouth. Uh, this is not a great place for you to do that, actually. I don't want to be backed up into a corner there. Come on, brother. I 100% pressed the run button to back hop. And, then, and Harry did not back hop. Start the stream over. I know. Shameful display. No, was on world record pace until that moment too. Don't worry. We can make it up in Silent Hill 3. Sir? Huh? What was that? Who in the hell was that? Where am I? This is a boiler room? What is going on here? He said it. He said the thing. I hear a, a church bell, maybe. Who's ringing the bell? I guess it's time to silence these hills. Quasimodo. They should have made Dahlia look more like Quasimodo. <laughs> Just because. Why? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I guess I should distinguish. Because there are some very different depictions of Quasimodo depending on the version. Do these uh, come back after... I'm pretty sure they don't. Of course not. Prediction result is Silent Hill 4. Wait, what? Oh! I thought it actually finished earlier. Okay, it just now decided to pop up and... Oop. And I guess I'll hide chat again for a moment. Though it's not just completely covered up. I gotta figure out.
couldn't finish it because you rigged it. <laughs> Perfect. Why make a prediction when you wanted a poll? True. It also wasn't supposed to, shouldn't have been a... <laughs> the whole thing was a scam. You want a list? I mean, people won scam points for... <laughs> for also wanting Silent Hill 4. And people who wanted other things lost scam points, right? If you do it as a as a prediction instead of a poll. <laughs> Working as intended. I guess that's true. If you were willing to put your points into the the crowd favorite, you win those points back. It's scam points, it's fine. You're affecting Nub Zombie Cannon, it's great. but also scam points don't matter, so who cares? That reminds me. Recommendation for an interesting YouTube video. I watched a video where somebody went through... Was that a... Uh, fucking... Game Theory? Whatchamacallit? What's that channel? Someone did a video where they went through and tallied all of the points from whose line is it anyway. Like, where they say the, the everything's made up and the points don't matter. Someone went through and actually tallied all the points to see who really won. I think it wound up being Ryan Stiles. Were you ringing that bell? I've been expecting you. Yeah, was it a was film theorist? Told by gyromancy. What are you talking about? I knew you'd come. You want the girl, right? The girl? The girl? You're talking about Cheryl. I see everything. You know something. Tell me. Stay back. Nothing is to be gained from floundering about at random. You must follow the path. Don't you tell me where I can and can't the path flounder. Of the hermit concealed by Flauros. What? What are you talking about? Here, the Flauros, a cage of peace. It can break through the walls of darkness and counteract the wrath of the underworld. These will help you. Make haste to the hospital before it's too late. Wait, don't go yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the music during this scene. Lauros and drawbridge key. Let's get some extra heals for hard mode. Go look at Jesus Pixel Nipples for luck. Picture on the wall, nothing special, just Jesus and his pixely nipples. That's my band name. Why are we talking about Matt Pat dying? Because Hirimi made a silly joke in chat. <laughs> because he because Hirimi spreads misinformation on the internet. Telling lies on purpose. A 
I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. My face. Bog Mummy. Welcome back, Bog Mummy. Thank you so much for the seven months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. No. Pick up the map. Check the health. We're in the green. EB pace. E-hole on the control panel. When I saw the thumbnail for the stream, I thought Harry was a face cam. Oh, the Harry over on the side. I should do a face cam like that. Where I'm just almost completely just not even sitting, just like standing awkwardly in darkness. Looking up, I could put my monitor like up in the corner of my room. Nub VTuber Harry Wen. We can make that happen. How would everybody feel if I just suddenly did that? If I just suddenly decided my my new channel gimmick forever going forward is a little Harry Mason VTuber model. And I just do this voice the entire time. Every stream, regardless of what's being played. Just a hundred percent Harry Mason all the time, every stream, forever and ever. A bit of Keanu in there. Blood vomit. <laughs> it's pretty intense. It's pretty metal. It'd be a hit with the youth. <laughs> Hold it. <gasps> Stop. Don't shoot. Wait. I'm not here to Can't. fight. Don't shoot anymore. My name is Harry Mason. I'm in town on vacation. Thank God. Another human being. Do you work here? I'm Dr. Michael Kaufman. I work at this hospital. So maybe you can tell me what's going on. I really can't say. I was taking a nap in the staff room. When I woke up, it was like this. Everyone seems to have disappeared. And it's snowing out. This time of year. This time of year. Something's gone seriously wrong. Did you see those monsters? Have you ever seen such aberrations? Ever even heard of such things? You and I both know creatures like Such that a delayed, don't exist. casual shot at Harry. Yeah. Hey, don't go dissing Revolver Have Kaufman. Have you seen a little girl anywhere? I'm looking for my daughter. He ricocheted that bullet. She's only seven. Short. Specifically to Miss Harry. It's just missing. a warning shot. I'm sorry. But with all those monsters around, I highly doubt that she's. <sighs> sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you. Your wife, she's here with you. She died four years ago. Now it's just me and my daughter. I see. I'm sorry. Well, see you later. Well, I'd better be going. <laughs> I, I, I love this. I love Kaufman's exit. Nothing. After like so long. the Good awkward there. dead wife conversation. Well, guess I'll be going. Guess I'll hit the old dusty trail.
This Kaufman chap seems like a good egg. I mean, it, you can't get the best possible ending without his help. So he's definitely a good guy. Um, speaking of endings, we are at the moment where we start making decisions that will influence that ending. Sort of. I mean, I can pick up the Aglophitus and just choose not to use it. But this is one of the main ending sort of factors in this game. Whether or not you pick up this plastic bottle. And this red liquid. Now, what have we here? Red liquid found in a broken vial in the hospital director's room. Do you remember what ending you got when you played this for the first time? Um, I want to say probably bad ending. Because I would have explored around... Probably bad... Yeah. I, I don't think I picked up the... Or I picked up the Aglophitus. I never thought to use it on Sybil. I just killed Sybil. And I explored everything and figured out Kaufman's side quest. I'm also trying to remember 25 years ago. But I'm pretty sure bad ending. First playthrough. Which is pretty common for this game. Figuring out the Kaufman stuff and figuring out the Aglophitus. A lot of people are going to skip that in, uh, in a first playthrough. Not everybody, but a lot of people. If you're, especially, I mean, if you're just going in blind, if you're not using guides and stuff. ending as it's rarely used and my favorite song plays on the credits. I guess we can go ahead and do a poll. Someone wants to run a poll for um, which ending. Which ending we want for this game. Just gonna be bad, bad plus, good, and good plus. I need to start saving shoddy. Hey, what's up, Sinistar? Don't remember how to make a pole? That's fine. Don't worry about it. 
when we get to that point, if if no one has figured it out, then I can do it myself. Room 302. Can't get that yet. I will absolutely take that. What was it? Good plus good bad bad plus. Uh, yeah. I'm new. What's the wiggly, nasty thing on the nurse's back? It's a parasite. Like a little weird parasitic slug monster. Which... There's a little bit of a... I mean, there's always a, a lot of fan theory, unconfirmed information when it comes to things like the creatures. And uh, it's something worth talking about. There's some interesting theories when it comes to the, the doctors and nurses in this game. So a lot of people speculate that they are real doctors and nurses, real people. But being controlled by the parasitic monsters. So unlike the other monsters in the rest of the game, that are strictly manifestations, some people theorize that the doctors and nurses are real people and not manifestation. They're just people with a thing on them. What? Oh, yeah. Let me hide this. So here's my thoughts on that. Is, uh... I think the doctors and nurses are not like living doctors and nurses like normal people. I think they were people who have died, people who were doctors and nurses. Because remember, weird stuff started happening around the town and to a lot of the people in the hospital. Um, Lisa herself started talking about all the weird shit going on with Alessa. And how she didn't want to uh, take care of her anymore. Yo, Sinistar, with the 10 gift subs going out to the community here. Uh, Tingling Toast, Pugalug, Santimaki, Bariner, Kittens, JM Lee, Hotbot, Morzal, Fox Call, and Cardun. Thank you so much. Enjoy those uh, subs and resubs. Courtesy of Sinistar. Sinistar, thank you so very, very much for the support. That is incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much. Losing, losing track of what I'm doing. Okay. Health drinks. Thank you again so much, Sinistar. Very much appreciated. But also, I am pissed Mod View used to have a poll button. That's okay. I still don't know how anything on Twitch works. Jump scare. That's interesting, Nub. It does make the doctors and nurses more consistent with Lisa, since she seems to basically be like a ghost. Sorry, yeah, I guess let me go back to my thoughts that I had on that. 
So some people speculate that the doctors and nurses are just living people, doctors and nurses that are taken over by the parasite. I think that it's, they are manifestations that have a not so literal meaning, just like everything else. So with, let's say the moths, uh, the, the moth boss creature, Um, Alessa, she, she collects bugs. She likes bugs. She collects butterflies and has, like, specimens and stuff, uh, displayed. So you get an idea of where these things come from, the way they're manifested. Lisa is also a manifestation of, like, a person who was alive at one point but is dead before you even get to the town. And Lisa comments saying that she's the same as the other nurses and doctors, like when she has this realization that she is like them. So I'm thinking that the doctors and nurses are people who died either from creatures in the nightmare or possibly due to weird stuff happening even before all of that or due to Kaufman himself um, the same way Lisa was and the parasite here's here's my fan theory on that rather than being more of a literal thing the parasite is representative of Kaufman Kaufman is the parasite he's the one who's responsible for Lisa's death, who's trying to leech money and, and success from the cult and through the drug trade uh, and through everything like that. So if you look at the doctors and nurses as being puppeted, because they're called, their official name is puppet doctor, puppet nurse, who would puppet them? Who puppets the doctors? Who puppets the nurses? The hospital director, Kaufman. He is the parasite. He is the puppet master of the puppet nurses and the puppet doctors. So I don't think they're necessarily like living people with a literal parasite on them. I think the parasite is more symbolic. Then what does that say about Sybil being parasited? Good point, because Sybil also gets parasited. And she doesn't really have much direct interaction with uh, with Kaufman. True, not that we know of. We do know that Kaufman is very anti-police. Anyone who was investigating the drug trade that was going on would suddenly die from mysterious circumstances, heart attacks, things that it, it's implied Kaufman is responsible for, you know, for silencing these people, the Officer Gucci character, who's only mentioned in a note as having a mysterious heart attack after investigating the drugs uh, and the drug trade ha happening in Silent Hill, the uh, the mayor, the like anti-drug mayor, who also died of a mysterious heart attack. So Kaufman is like responsible for these things. And he's the one controlling the the drug trade and, in a sense, has some control over the cult through that. Oh my god, this is terrible. But yeah. It's, it's less of a solid fan theory when you start trying to think practically about Sybil getting parasited. But hey, you know, there is no official in-game or developer-given uh, explanation for exactly who or what the nurses and uh, doctors are. 
They could be real people. They could just be manifestations completely where they represent real people but are not real people. They could represent... They could be like Lisa, like I said, that my own theory that they're uh, dead nurses and doctors that were controlled, puppeteered by Kaufman. Or maybe they're real people. Maybe everyone's a real person and you're just a crazy crazy man running around killing people with a pipe. I don't know why that's such a popular fan theory, because that would be such a, a boring explanation for Silent Hill. Is you're just crazy and hallucinating and killing everyone. Killing real people. Yeah. It's the Silent Hill phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Yeah, exactly. Come on. I know why, and it's because of the stupid Vincent line in Silent Hill 3. Yep. That's definitely a big part of it. That's definitely a big part of it. But even... The thing is, like, even before Silent Hill 3 even existed... That was a fan theory since Silent Hill 1. Like, it was... Silent Hill 3 was almost the developers acknowledging that that was a fan theory and kind of putting their little, their little twist on it. Like, they look like monsters to you. In, when it's supposed to be more of a general, like... We don't see things the same way. Vin like... People perceive reality in different ways, but even when perceiving the same reality, the same manifestations, a cult believer would see those creatures as deities. Part of their beliefs. Whereas somebody from outside of that belief structure would see them as just weird fucking monsters. So, yeah, I think it the Vincent line, for people who already kind of bought into the you're just a person going around hallucinating, killing people, um, for people who already kind of bought into that theory, the Vincent line really didn't help because a lot of people took it at face value instead of not, not quite so literal, especially with Vincent even saying that it's just a joke right after. And it could literally just be that. It might not even be as deep as I'm making it out to be. Where I'm like, uh, maybe Vincent, because he's part of the cult, he sees the creatures as something other than that. Or maybe he just likes fucking with Heather. What's this? Maybe he just likes upsetting her. Looks like someone's been here. A lesser. That's her. Really think Vincent as a character was just saying that to fuck with Heather? Oh, I agree. I agree. I think for the most part, it is just that. It is just Vincent fucking with Heather. Um, again, on the slightly more, like, think about it a little deeper beyond its surface level meaning, I think it could be, you know, yeah. Vincent and cult members would see the creatures as, like, deities and things related to their beliefs. Someone from outside that, like Heather, would just see them as a monster. And the developers, here's, here's the other big thing kind of supporting that idea. So one of the big major influences for the Silent Hill games is a movie called Jacob's Ladder. And they go very much out of their way. One of Masahiro Ito's favorite quotes, he shared it multiple times on Twitter, um, from the ending, I don't want to spoil Jacob's Ladder for everybody, I guess. Um... But there's an ending that uh, basically 
breaks down the idea that if you're if you've died and your soul is trying to I, I, I should just pull the quote up god oh, damn it I don't want to misquote it Jacob's ladder angels and demons If you're holding on and afraid of dying, you'll see demons tearing your life apart. If you've made your peace, then the demons are really angels freeing you from the world. Or maybe Vincent is just fucking with her. <laughs> or maybe Team Silent, you know, threw a little, little extra splash of Jacob's Ladder in there. Because why not? They like it. Finally, someone else who's okay. Who are you? My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. You got a little more so than knocked out. So you don't out. know anything either. Great. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old? A seven-year-old girl? What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl? I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. <sighs> That's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. So I really don't know. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... <clears throat> Damn! My head! What's wrong? Harry? Harry, let me help you. Harry? Bye, Shadow Lisa. Was I dreaming? You were too late. It's you. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Tell me everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. The town is being devoured What's by darkness. What's the lore of Silent Hill? Uh, never go to Maine. Overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Believe the evidence of your eyes. The other church in this town, that is your destination. This is beyond my abilities. Only you can stop it now. Stop Have you it. not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? All over town? So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! You want to explain any of those words that you just said? Who's Samuel Yale?
lore of Silent Hill is that the the hill is actually pretty darn silent. <laughs> I guess just to give a little bit more of a real answer, since there might be a lot of new people here, I do very in-depth lore playthroughs of all the Silent Hill games. That's not what I'm doing currently. We're doing a marathon where I'm playing many, many games from the series. Um back to back celebrating seven years of being a partner on Twitch but if you are curious about learning more about the lore uh, I have some videos and stuff where I go into that on my YouTube channel and archived here on Twitch literally hundreds of hours of playthroughs over the years going into very, very fine detail in regards to the lore, the history of the development, lots of random Easter eggs and trivia, all sorts of things. Thank you, Rachel. Link to a uh, YouTube channel if you want to check that out. Did you burn your Book of Memories cartridge in the end? I did. It's on, it's on stream. It's archived. It's it was it's on YouTube. Did I go the wrong way? Yes. Here I am thinking it's time to go to the the waterworks. I need to go to Green Lion. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, Luxury, you asked, how did I first get into the Silent Hill series and find out about all the lore myself? I was already a horror fan when the first game came out. Um, so when Silent Hill 1 got announced, uh, I got it. I went to a friend's house to play it. Jesus. I had already been, like I said, a horror fan, playing a bunch of horror games at that point uh, as a kid. I'd already played, you know, Resident... This game came out in 99. So, like, Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2 had already come out. Uh, there was a lot of other horror stuff out. But this game was the first horror game that I played as a kid where I felt scared enough, even playing it in the middle of a day with a friend, um, that I we didn't want to keep playing it. Like, we played it for a few hours, and we were like, this this game's too weird, let's do something else. <laughs> so, that meant a lot to me. I didn't realize how much it meant to me at the time, but... That being one of the few, like, horror games to give me that kind of reaction said a lot about how this game was made and how it compared to, like, other horror at the time. Grams, the next town over. And then, yeah, uh, by the time Silent Hill 2 came out, I played that game, finished it, loved it, went back, played Silent Hill 1 to actually play it and finish it, and loved it. And then I was just hooked after that. I, I played every game on release. And uh, as far as learning all the lore, I just played the games. I played the games a lot. I took a lot of notes. Harry! I exchanged Sibyl. a lot of ideas and theories with fans on like oh, forums I'm glad and you're okay. bulletin board you. message boards and stuff back in the day uh, when those it's were still nuts. a thing. I guess they are technically are still a thing, here? but I thought you left town. People don't really use forums and I stuff the same way. I saw you go in way. here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. Uh, Michel, thank All you so much for blocked. the thirty months. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and Welcome radios back. are still out thank too. Thank you, thank you. Very much appreciate that. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. 
Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but I she I love the vanished. music in this scene. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. Michelle, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. I'm waiting for this cutscene to end so I can thank you properly. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? <laughs> no. She yeah. said something I about how the flat. town being devoured <laughs> by darkness. Very matter of fact. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. They Must sell be it on to drugs. the tourists. The four still can't figure out who's behind it. I mean, they've already None been investigating drugs. Out. They know it's a problem. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Surprisingly a lot. Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No, I'm going. All right. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream. The other world? What are you world? talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. You so eepy. Yeah, maybe. Go to bed, Harry. And off he goes. <laughs> I love that conversation. Sorry, I, I love that cutscene. There's so much awkward dialogue and... Legit information, like, there's so much going on, and it's also one of my favorite music tracks. Uh, so I didn't like, I didn't want to talk over it too much. Michelle, thank you so much for the 30 months and the 10 community gift subs. Uh, you said, don't ever play Book of Memories. That is Noob Zombies, Word of Life. No, it's not. I don't really know what a word of life is from Nub Zombie, but however, thank you so much, so much you have done for all the years, for all the content, and I hope, I hope I you still going to do more. I'm going to read it exactly as you typed it. Going to do more and many, many more years of Silent Hill lore and speedrunning and the deep death story, the deep death story that you do. Thank you so much, Nub Zombie. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michelle. <laughs> Very much appreciate it. Thank you so much for the 30 months. And all the love. Yeah, I saw. You're on mobile. It's all good. <laughs> Deep death. 
I I completely understand. Thank you so much for all the love and support over the years, Michelle. Thank you, thank you. What's this? Some kind of altar? Never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. The other mother. I'm going to take the axe. Even though I have no reason to use it. <gasps> what the? What the? It is kind of a similar okay? effect to the Silent Hill 4 Jasper Harry? Fire effect. I don't know. Something. Harry. I love PS1 visuals. I love the like fire effect in this. sure a lot of that is nostalgia growing up with you know ps1 games and, and early polygon stuff but Lisa, i love ps1 hospital. visual style you were having a bad especially like in horror games Was something I? about the original like hey, resident evil games you don't look too this good. are you okay? um i'm fine the early like alone in the dark stuff you need to worry about dino crisis well if you're sure lisa do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. Kind of famous around she here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says... The original the Alone in the Dark is criminally underappreciated. Do you have any idea Isn't there a new Alone in the Dark about? thing... In, a town in production. Powered by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Is it like Before a full-on turned into a resort, reboot remake? The townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind remake, of new religion. Weird occult stuff. Black magic. There's a demo for it. Thing. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Might have to check that out. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, <laughs> gotta blame it on something. I'm flipping out. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh years ago Gorsh. when several people connected with developing the town died in accidents people said it was a curse oh, I'm sorry I'm people rambling. said it was a curse but it was actually Kaufman may have also been a curse but Kaufman helped some of those deaths were definitely attributed to him was that another dream did I pass out again? I don't want to think so, but maybe this is all just going on in my head. I could have had a car accident and now I'm lying unconscious in a hospital bed. I don't know what's real anymore. Sybil said Cheryl was heading towards the lake, but the road to the lake is blocked. Aren't there any other roads? Lisa would probably know. Luxury. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Adrian Cabal. Cabal. Thank you so much. Very much appreciate all the love and support. Thank you, thank you. So there's a glitch that can be done here to skip the um 
the twin feeler, the big caterpillar boss, and that whole section of the game, basically. We're not going to do that. For the marathon today, I'm doing no major skips. We might do a little bit of glitching stuff in some of the other games if it doesn't skip anything major, like Building World 2 and Silent Hill 4, if we make it that far. But for the most part, no skips. Besides Alone in the Dark, really excited about the Clock Tower remaster. I forgot that was also a thing that's happening. Let's just remake all the horror games. Clock Tower, Alone in the Dark, already remade Dead Space. Got our Silent Hill 2 remake on the way. Did you know you can shoot these uh, little caterpillars? You get close enough to them without uh, falling. Once you move too far, you'll, uh, the floor breaks away. There it is. So you can actually shoot the little caterpillars over there and make the radio stop going crazy right here. Luxury, thank you so much for gifting another sub out to the community. Vault Yell. Getting a sub. Thank you so much, Luxury. I really appreciate all, this, all the gift subs and support tonight. Thank you so much. Ouch. This is the strat, by the way. You just stand on the metal fence and forces it to crawl on top of it when it pops out. So you have a little bit more time to uh, turn around and get some shots in. If you use the shotgun, you can pretty much do this in like one or two cycles, even on hard mode. I'm going to try to conserve shotgun for uh, the next couple of bosses at 28. And it curls up, but it doesn't die. It's a fake out. Love how different from the other songs this one is with the bongos. It is very like it's very different. I one thing I will give 
uh, Silent Hill 1. The soundtrack is a lot more diverse. Like, as Yamaoka kind of found his his trademark sound with Silent Hill 2 and, and onward, as much as I love those soundtracks, they're very different from one. Like, Yamaoka definitely finds what he likes to do for Silent Hill with Silent Hill 2 and then kind of just keeps doing it from then on. But one... There is such a spread. There's ambient stuff. There's like down tempo trip hop. There's super heavy industrial. Uh, there's like Spanish guitar. There's so many, so many weird like mixing of genres. Uh, for the soundtrack as a whole. And then, yeah, the the follow-up, like Silent Hill 2 and onward, I feel like, yeah, exactly, they're more melodic. They're, they're a lot more... Like, Yamaoka drops a lot of the, the more, I guess, heavy industrial stuff. There's obviously still some of that that carries forward in a lot of his work, but not nearly to the same degree as the way he uses it in this game. But yeah. Great Harry. soundtracks. Glad you're okay. Wemsters, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank God you came back. I was scared to be here all alone. I'm here now. I was worried too. I'm real happy to see you. Lisa, can you tell me how to get to the lake? The lake? You take Bachman Road. The road's blocked. Well, that's the only way out there. Are you sure? There's gotta be another way. Wait! I just remembered something! What? There's a waterworks over by my old elementary school. It's been abandoned for years. There's an underground tunnel out there used for inspections or something. I remember hearing it runs all the way to the lake. Really? You think I can get to the lake from there? I've never been down in there myself, so I'm not positive. Besides, it's all fenced off to keep people out. If there's a chance, I've got to try. Harry, don't go! I don't want to be alone. It's so scary, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. How about coming with me? This may not be the safest place in the world. Gotta go to bed, but I know how bad the unexpected life financial anything, emergencies can suck. Hope you. everything gets easier. Thank you so much, oh, Wem. I very I much appreciate like it. To leave this place. Thank you so much for the oh, five Harry, gift subs. So Have scared. a good night. Hope you, hope you sleep cold. well. Look, just wait here a little longer. I'll be back as soon as I find my daughter. Harry? As soon as I find my daughter, then I'll care about you. Yeah, it's, that's <laughs> fair. That's fair. Oh, let's go back in and check on her. Oh, she's gone. Because she's not real. She was real at one point, but now she's dead. I guess. It depends on how you think of it, you know? Is is she sort of like uh, Maria? Where she has her own will? Is she more just like Alessa's memories of her? It's really hard to say. Hard to say with Lisa. Masuda. Ouch. She is self-aware by the end. True. But uh, Maria, 
is a manifestation in Silent Hill 2, and she is also self-aware pretty early on when you look at where Born from a Wish lines up with the main scenario. I'm just going to take some time to appreciate this boss and try not to die in the process. It is hard mode. I've got some I've got some extra drinks. Yeah, uh, float stinger trying to go upstairs, get some better camera angles where you can get these nice far shots and see the whole boss. Ooh. Poison shot. A little bit of a uh, professional gamer strategies, tips and tricks. Um, this boss has a lot of hit invulnerability after it takes damage. So if you're ever fighting this boss and you're trying to conserve ammo, don't spam your shots. So if you just do this, where you just shoot over and over, basically every other shot is not doing damage because when this boss takes damage, there's a little period afterwards where they're just, it's all iframes. They don't take damage from anything. But if you like shoot and then wait a second and then shoot again like this, get my ass kicked. If you shoot and then you see that blood splatter effect, once that effect goes away, the iframes have ended and you can attack again and your damage will go through. So if you're trying to be very ammo efficient for this boss fight or for a playthrough in general, that's how you make all of your shots really count. You don't waste anything on this boss. Quite a bullet sponge on hard, so you really don't want to waste too much. There it is. Uh, just another chump. Thank you so much for the prime. Very much appreciate that brand new sub. Enjoy your time here. Thank you, thank you. Uh, also, Bells. Bells uh, Ribeiro. Been following you for a long time. Wish I had better memory to always subscribe. Thank you so much for the amazing Silent Hill content. I'm just glad you enjoy what I do. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate the uh, support. But, yeah. I'm just, I'm just glad you guys like hearing me ramble about Silent Hill games for years. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, thank you so much for the support. Go back to our handgun for a bit. Oh, yeah, by the way, what ending won on the poll earlier? Good plus. Good plus, I think. Okay. 
good plus ending. So we're saving Sybil. We're uh, saving Kaufman. We're going to hit this lock hard. Boom. Boom. Bang. Look at the twerk. Also, that lock has more HP on hard mode. Funny enough. Takes more knife hits on hard mode to break that lock. <laughs> hey, Bob. Thank you. Also, does Neb have a Discord channel? Tried checking offline once and couldn't find the link if so. Uh, I do. One of my moderators can hook you up with a link in uh, in a moment. Oops, I don't want to go this way. These boys do a lot of damage. The scratchers. Oh god, this is bad. Hate the sewers. Love this game, hate the sewers. Thank you, Rachel. Getting the Discord link in chat there. But yeah, for anybody... Anybody who wants to uh, join the Discord, hang out. Chat in the community. Everyone's pretty chill, except for Yami. Have to deal with him posting some weird stuff now and then. But otherwise, it's a cool place to hang out. Hey, Raccoon City Survivor. Welcome. Scratcher's gonna scratch. Oh my god, the... Wombo combo, let me through. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna be dead. We're good. Sound like the narrator of an audiobook, no lie. Um... You know, I've considered doing that many times, uh, and I've just never done it. Although I've played enough games and read enough notes, like... <laughs> I've done multiple playthroughs of Silent Hill Play Novel. It's basically just an audiobook, right? And I did the Silent Hill 2 D-Make, where I did all the voices for all the characters. I've basically done some audiobooks. That counts. <laughs> but yeah, welcome. I'm Nub Zombie. I play all the Silent Hills. I do super in-depth story playthroughs, speed runs, challenge runs. Today I'm celebrating seven years as a Twitch partner and doing a big old marathon. So this is still, we're, we're two and a half hours into the stream. Uh, so we're still very early into this marathon. Ideally, we'll get through at least Silent Hill 1, 2, 3, and 4. Or maybe some different games. We're just gonna let people vote on games. what they want to see because we're doing Silent Hill 4 after this I think that's what uh, what won the vote aren't there novels for Silent Hill 
Uh, unofficial ones, yeah. Please stop. What is your zodiac sign? Zodiac killer. Who needs melatonin when you have nine hour story playthroughs of a horror game to lull you to sleep? Exactly. I'm glad that a lot of people like that too. Like, enjoy my streams and, and my videos for being able to help them sleep or put on the background for while you study or work or whatever. Like, to me, those are some of the most important streams in my life. <laughs> are the ones that I can, like, videos and, and streams and stuff that I can put on when I'm trying to sleep. Those are the real MVPs. So I'm glad my, like, videos can be that for so many other people. You don't know your Zodiac sign? I know my Zodiac sign, I just don't care. I don't, I don't believe in that sort of thing. The doctor in the hospital room when you were born uh, had more gravitational pull on you than any celestial body. Did you know that? Are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. But I'm beat. I thought I was a goner there. So how'd it go? Did you find a way out? No. This man yet. was getting eaten by a pork monster. How about That's you? our Kaufman. Zip. But it's too soon to give up. This craziness can't go on forever. A military rescue squad should be here any time now. If they come through the town, we're home free. I hope so. I better get going. This isn't the time to stand around flapping our gums. Do you know a girl called Alessa? No. No. Never heard of her. Don't know who that is. Not her friend on Facebook. Remember when Facebook was made canon in the Silent Hill universe? Thanks to Silent Hill Revelations. Do you Facebook? Fuck Facebook. Award-winning dialogue. What? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just ranting. Don't mind me. I'm basically talking to myself about Silent Hill Revelations. <laughs> You do not remember that. Yeah. Jon Snow is trying to seem cool and hip and flirt with his cousin. Uh, so he asks her awkwardly on the bus, do you Facebook? To which Heather replies, fuck Facebook. This is the proof God is not real. <laughs> oh, that reminds me.
reminds me. We can turn chat back on. There we go. <laughs> Jon Snow is in Silent Hill Revelations. He sure is. Uh, Kit, what's his name? Kit, Kit Brannigan. <laughs> Kit Harrington. He plays Vincent in Silent Hill Revelations. And in Silent Hill Revelations, Heather and Vincent are cousins. And also romantic interests. That movie's weird, to say the least. What the fuck were they doing with that movie? I have no idea. I. At the very least, it wasn't, uh, that one was not Kristoff. That one was not Kristoff Gans's idea. Revelations is that awful movie where it's Heather summoning Pyramid Head to save her from the final boss. Yes, the final boss that is Claudia Wolf, who transforms into, like, the missionary. Is it really the missionary, though? Or is it Dollar Store, we have Cenobites at home? Yeah, you get Sean Bean chained up to a gigantic styrofoam statue of Valtiel. Worst porno ever. That's the worst thing that Revelations did. They almost blinded Malcolm McDowell. It had Sean Bean too? Of course. Sean Bean had to reprise his role <laughs> of Chris De Silva, everyone's favorite character from the first Silent Hill movie. We had to make that uh, continuation happen. And it also had Malcolm McDowell as uh, Leonard, Leonard Wolf. Uh, maybe less, less than Rachel said for maybe two minutes. I don't think his screen time was even two minutes. He has like the one scene where he tricks Heather very easily into giving him the fucking Halo of the Sun seal of seal of made up bullshit but I had nothing in my PayPal account hadn't checked in a long while oh thank you for reminding me I need to be double checking for PayPal donations because those don't do alerts um, oh, it also shows your the last person who tipped the six the six 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 donation. Uh, if you want to include a, a message or even just your Twitch name in your message, if you donate, um, that way I don't just like I don't want to say people's real names because that's what it shows me when you when you donate it. I guess it's based on PayPal account. Um, but thank you. I appreciate the $6.66 temp, 66 cent, I can't talk anymore, tip. 
Nub Zombie doxed me live on stream. Thank you. It was worth it. <laughs> Small glass vial wrapped in a plastic bag. What's this? Kaufman. Give me that. What is this? That's none of your business. Instead of messing with that, how about coming up with a way to get out of here? Hmm. You shouldn't be hanging around here goofing off. What do you think you're doing? You want to get yourself killed? Get out of here. Okay, take it easy. Unless you want to die, keep your mind on business. Got it? Man, was he pissed. And in such a rush, too. Guess I wasted my time. Better hurry. I'm worried about Cheryl. Cheryl? Kaufman, unironically great voice performance. Um, I like a lot of Kaufman's dialogue in this game. I agree. And I know a lot of people definitely give these games shit, especially this one for its voice acting and stuff, but again, compared to a lot of modern standards, yeah, this, uh, this game's voices are not up to like modern standards and stuff. But for 1999 standards, go back and play like Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2 with the original voices. Uh, the, this, this game's voice acting is not, it's better, I would say. It's not even as far off as RE1 and 2. And I love RE1 and 2. I love the voice lines in those games, but... What's in terms this? of quality of, of performances oh. and delivery, I think Silent Hill 1 oh. is better overall, even though some lines are pretty noticeably rough. Not again. No, this time it feels different. Rather than shifting from reality to a nightmare, this is more like reality becoming a nightmare. I don't like this feeling, like something bad will happen. Harry... Bad things have been happening since you got here. You've already gone through, like, monster school and monster hospital. I think we're beyond bad thing happening. We're beyond just having a feeling that something bad is happening. A monkey monster just teabagged us at light speed. Oh my god, it just keeps happening. I warned you about those stairs. <laughs> wow, what a mansion! Gotta say, prefer the second Silent Hill over the first. The movies, that is. <laughs> Valtiel. You trying to start a fight? <laughs> oh, I lost track of where I was. Is that a good thing? Are you citing that as a good thing? So Rachel, Rachel, Rachel is citing the, the spider mannequin. It's terrible, but it's good terrible. Mm. 
we we appreciate our bad movies. Look at this fucking <laughs> parade I've got going behind me. Haven't seen two, have only seen one. Pretty pointless storyline where Sean Bean discovers information, but he doesn't do anything to really affect the plot of that film. Well, so you know the story behind that, right? Sh Sean Bean's character was, was written in because Christoph Gans originally wrote that script with no, no men. No, it was only female characters. Um, he, he wanted to change Harry Mason into Rose De Silva because a man would never act scared or be worried about his daughter. Uh, that's his words, not mine. And, um, Roger Avery Sybil. had to rewrite Harry. Christoph's original script. How did you get back here? So they added in Chris De Silva. Sewer. And Officer Gucci fence? and all their scenes yeah. to balance out I was worried about the female-centric roles you from Kristoff. Where did you disappear to? And by the way, Kristoff is not Never doing that be for like a I you know. I want to know what's going on here. Yeah, women's what is rights and town? women actors in film. This he's not doing it really to be like supportive. Wall, uh, he's a complete me. creep. He's talked You've about how he me. just likes having beautiful actresses in his movies. Around. So that he can be surrounded first, by pretty women to look at while he mind. works. But now I know I'm not. It's not me. This whole town. Did he? Did he find Jodel? Being invaded by the Kingdom Hospital. I guess so. Yeah. By a world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Little by little, the invasion. So is we should thank the people who make Kingdom Maybe Hospital. We swallow up everything well, in darkness. He didn't. He didn't personally I think I'm cast. I'm finally her. beginning to understand what that lady was talking True. about. Harry, hold on a minute. I don't get it. Look, I don't understand it all myself. I guess I can't explain it. Well, what's making this happen? I don't know that either. But I do know Cheryl is there. There? Under whoever created this darkness. Cheryl is somewhere and she needs my help. Harry, this whole thing's been a major blow to you. You need to rest. Sybil, I... The demon is awakening. Dahlia Gillespie. Those wings. Dahlia Gillespie. The demon is awakening, spreading Was those cheeks. Not, as I said. I see it all now. Yes, everything. Hungry for sacrifice, the demon will swallow up the land. I knew this day would come. And what's more, the task is almost finished. There's only two left. To seal this town to the abyss, the mark of Samael. When it is completed, all is lost. Even in daytime, darkness will cover the sun. The dead will walk and martyrs will burn in the fires of hell. Everyone will die. So Kevin, what am I supposed to do? Thank you so much for the 23 months. Cheryl. Very much appreciate it. It is simple. Stop Welcome back, Ben. The demon. Thank you, thank you. The demon, the demon taking that child's form. Stop it. Stop it before your daughter becomes a sacrifice. Before it is too late. Stop it. Stop it. What do I do? Stop it. Go to the lighthouse on the lake. And to the center of the amusement park. Make haste. You are the only hope. Look, Harry. I really don't get what's going on. But if there's a chance we can save your daughter, I'm in. Sign me up. I'll check out the amusement park. You go to the lighthouse. 
Sybil, thanks. Sybil's the best. You will need to use it. There's a lot of police who would use not what? go that far or be that willing Only to help. With that, can you stop it? What about Sybil? Everybody just walking out on Harry mid conversation. What am I, chopped liver? Where's everyone going, bingo? Not really. Talking to Rachel over my shoulder about Valheim. Do we need black iron? Like, uh, not really. I think we've made all the black iron stuff we need. Unless you want to... You still need to upgrade axe and pickaxe. You do have a lesbian crush on Sybil from the movie, though. She's fine as fuck. That's, um... What's her name? She's in a bunch of stuff. Walking Dead and... Um, God, yeah, I know. My mind is blanking. Lori Holden. Thank you. No, I will, I will give the first movie credit. She was like the perfect Sybil. I think she portrayed Sybil wonderfully. Even Wait. the second movie, uh, like I will shit on Revelations all Damn, day long. It's too late. With uh, no remorse, but I will say, I don't know if it's better or makes it worse because of how bad the rest of the movie is. But the casting for Revelations, I think, as a whole, was pretty good. I will give the second movie that. I think the actress they got for Heather portrayed her pretty well. I think the act... I wish Douglas had more scenes just so that that actor could have portrayed him for longer. Because I felt like uh, the Douglas actor was also really good. But he was just like instantly removed from the fucking movie. Kit Harrington was too pretty for Sybil Vincent. Hasn't come back. Vincent was not Vincent. He, that was not Vincent. It was sure such a different character and different soon. representation. Let me be on time. That I don't, I don't know if there's a good or a bad way to necessarily do the casting for that character, just because it is such a weird character, weird interpretation for Vincent. Fumbled the casting. That's more than just the casting. They, with Vincent, they fumbled the whole character. There's, there's not much that Kit Harrington or any actor could have done. Most of the film is a butchery? Exactly. Like, you, you you can nitpick these kind of things, but overall, it's still, like, obviously, it's not a good film, so. Why split the hairs? But credit where credit's due, I thought the casting was, was for the most part, pretty good. I would have loved to have seen Malcolm McDowell portray a more accurate-to-the-game Leonard Wolfe. Where you never see him, you never see like a human form, maybe a little flashback 
to like Claudia's memories of him being abusive or something. But not just like human form talking to Heather and all that stuff. Just use his voice and then have a big Leonard monster when you actually reveal him. Just like in Silent Hill 3, where she thinks she's talking to a person and then it's like, oh fuck, he's a monster. By the way, did Dahlia attack Sybil there? Uh, no. Sybil got attacked by a parasite. Parasite manifestation. Which is why we're about to see her all parasited up in a moment. So there's a way to skip pretty much all of the amusement park if you use the uh, aglophagus on these little squeaky babies here. But we're not going to do that. I do like the amusement park in this game. It's kind of small. There's only a few things to, like, look at. Most of it is chain link. Chain link in void. But I do like just kind of wandering around this part of the game. All the, like, rides and stuff moving around in the darkness. Oh, I love sad amusement parks. Exactly. Here we have the uh, magic ice cream shop. Where you actually read this note. So like whenever you're making a save point uh, or saving at a save point in Silent Hill 1. Harry is just essentially writing down notes of, like, what happened to him so far. Because he's a writer. That's what he does. But you never read what Harry writes down in Silent Hill 1. So it's not until Silent Hill 3, and you revisit some of these areas as Heather, that you get to read, like, what Harry wrote down at this point in time on this notepad. Really cool. I love those sort of story tie-ins in Silent Hill 3. Yeah, great detail. Um, you know, let's... I just want to show off the glitch. We're saving Sybil anyway. And we've got a lot of other games to get to. And we looked at the amusement park. This is the main thing I wanted to look at. So, here. This is what happens if you use a Glophitus on those little larval stalkers. This happens. It counts. It counts as using the Glophitus on Sybil. So we saved her. And she's loving it. Sybil. Wake up. Snap out of it. Sybil. Harry. What happened? Shh. Don't talk. I'll take care of you. Harry. Why did they take your daughter? Why her? I'm not sure myself. But, you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. I actually haven't told her yet. She probably already knows anyway, though. We found her abandoned on the side of the highway. 
nobody knew where she came from. We didn't have any kids of her own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. Maybe. Just maybe. So what do you do now? Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her no matter what. I, I love that. Yeah, the space where you can tell how uh, the actor, Michael Gwynn, read that line. I will save her no matter what. But when you, when you break it up that way, I will save her no matter what. <laughs> it sounds so funny. Well, that's where a I lot of the, the awkward dialogue comes Hold from right in this there. game is it's it's an english actor trying to do giving those care. line readings to just one thing. a japanese sound engineer Let Cheryl go that's all i ask uh who doesn't speak english or not very good english enough to pick up on like the little pauses that should be there and the inflections on words Damn. So it gives you weird little moments like that. What is this? AT field. Exactly. I don't want to hear Where's anyone complain Cheryl? about any dialogue in old school Give Silent Hill back, after Ascension. Daughter. True. We meet at last, Ascension proves you can have all current technology Where's at your fingertips. All the aspects of modern Alyssa. game creation Alyssa. that we have today and make something that Looks and sounds worse than 25 year old PS1 mean? games. You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? I was careless. Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? Gotta catch them all. Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. This man? Hey, what are you talking about? Alessa, Stupid man dear, thing. Girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. No! Get away from me! Bad girl. What's going on here? <laughs> ah! This music. Music sounds so much like a boiling kettle. Almost had to go check if I left my stove on. It gives you that feeling though, right? It gives you that sort of anxiety of like a kettle going off in the other room and nobody's going to take it off the heat. Well, Lisa looks like she's doing good. Lisa. What happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. Harry, Something shut up for a moment. Something you said has been bothering me. I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? So I went to look in the basement. Even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms, but nothing really unusual down there. But while I was down there, I got this weird feeling. Like I'd been there before. Like something happened there, but I can't quite remember somehow. What was it? Harry, help me. 
I'm so scared. I can't take this. It's only a temporary thing. You're in shock from when you were knocked out. Shut up, Harry. Don't fret about it. You'll remember after You don't know anything. No. You don't understand. Oh, wait. Wait! Where do you think you're going? Why did my cutscene fuck up? Uh, that's a new one. Emulator kind of bugged out on the last part of that cutscene. At least it didn't freeze? Yeah. That usually doesn't happen. Cursed copy of the game. Well, so for the, the ease of capturing this, like I have physical copies, but capturing from a PS1 and making it look good on a stream is not an easy feat. So it's easier for me to emulate it and make it look nice for streams. Uh, and Duck Station, the emulator that I use, does have some issues when it's running with, like, visual settings. So if you have, like, widescreen and super high resolution mods and stuff like that, this game has some, some known issues. But with everything disabled, usually this plays, like, perfectly. Weird to see that uh, cutscene bug. I'm being summoned. What happened in this town? What could be making things like this? I have a feeling if I take the elevator down, I'll find it. Cheryl. Cheryl. Look at him go. He's so brave. <laughs> Give me back my daughter. Random thought. Do we think Dahlia had Harry travel to particular places with the Seal of Metatron because the Flaros may have helped dispel their protective properties, like it dispelled Alessa's barrier before, or is it more likely that she just had him travel to places Alessa would most likely be at, given her ties to them? Um, well, Dahlia is psychic. She can, she has gyromancy on her side. So I don't think she has to assume where Alessa will be. I think she knows. Either through her own mother's intuition, quote unquote, or through just literal gyromancy. Because she has her her powers are not bullshit. She's kind of like Alessa and Claudia in that regard. She she says that she uses a magical spell to call back the other half of the soul, which Cheryl winds up in the town. She convinces Harry to bring her here, so was it coincidence? Was it actually Dahlia's magic? Mm. So yeah, I think... Dahlia tries to lead Harry very specifically to places where she thinks Alessa will show herself. She knows Alessa will be there. She knows probably somewhat uh, of Alessa's intentions and kind of using Harry to stop Dahlia. Still have no idea what's a gyromancy. Uh, yeah, she spin. She's been. Gyromancy is basically a form of psychic divination where you put letters or pictures or runes or whatever in a large circle 
and you sp- walk around that circle while spinning until you get so dizzy that you fall down on one of those letters or runes or whatever. And then you repeat that process until you've spelled out a full message. So that is what Dahlia uses to foretell the future. That seems real tedious. It also sounds like a pain in the ass, quite literally, if you're spinning around and falling on it. Stone of Time. A L E R T. Don't stab me. the matter with you I get it now why well, I'm still alive even though everyone else is dead I'm not the only one who's still walking around I'm the same as them I just hadn't noticed it before Lisa stay by me Harry please I'm so scared help me Save me from them. Please. Harry. Shoutouts to Takeyoshi Sato for animating all of the CG scenes in this game by his fucking self, by the way. That whole animation. <laughs> Valtiel in chat, you're already on the same page. But yeah. That was all Sato. That was all Takeyoshi Sato. One dude. One man. Who was like, I'm just going to hand animate. No mocap, nothing like that. Every single CG scene in this entire game. And Konami didn't even want to credit him for it properly. He had to threaten to like leave the studio and take his animations and techniques with him like refuse to teach them to anyone if Konami didn't credit him properly scumbag Konami at its finest like it's a shitty thing even back then back then that was a little bit more standard um a lot of game companies especially Japanese game companies didn't uh bless you didn't want uh their employees getting offered better pay and better contracts from 
competing developers. So a lot of studios would not let their developers use their real names. That's why if you play like old Super Nintendo games and stuff like that, a lot of times you'll look at um, developer credits and it'll just be like a screen name, like a nickname. Um, that is why. So Konami basically didn't want to credit Sato for all the work he did. He had to be like, yeah, I'm just going to leave and not tell anyone how to do animation the way I do it. If you don't credit me. <laughs> but they did it. And... Oh, Haggith. Silent Hill 1 was a success. And then they gave... Uh, Sato much more creative control on Silent Hill 2 because of that. Rockman 2's composer is Bun Bun. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's how that's how a lot of game devs are credited. All that just because they didn't want uh, people getting offered, you know, better pay from rivals. Maybe Parasite Eve 2. Actor mocap for body movements. Hand animate the facial expressions. Uh, that's how they did Silent Hill 2 and 3 as well. Oh. 2, 3, and 4 actually. Pretty sure the process was the same. Mocap for uh, body movements, and then hand animated uh, facial expressions. Cage key. Whoops, that's not the room. Y'all behave, don't make me have to wake up and ban someone. Take it easy on me. Have a good one. Get you some sleep. That's what I thought. Hard mode, like Shadow Stalkers, do some damage. Radio's still going off, but I can't kick that one. I think it's because they are like on top of each other where they died. Sometimes when uh, things overlap like that, messes with the interactions. 
First, he had to threaten to withhold. Uh, oh, yeah. Talking about Sato. Withhold not, uh, knowledge if they didn't allow him to do CG work because they only wanted him to do some graphic design work. Yep. Then they wanted to assign him a supervisor who would have gotten the CG credit. Yeah. Being a senior to him. So even if he did it all. Yeah, he originally wouldn't have been given credit. But hey, if things hadn't happened that way, imagine how different Silent Hill would have been without Sato's contributions, or even if, you know, he hadn't been properly credited, if he had just gone along with that and didn't have the creative role that he you know, would have wound up pushing for and getting with Silent Hill 2. Like, Silent Hill 2 might not have happened at all, or it might not have been the same game at all. <laughs> Alright, Alyssa. Sitting there crying. I'm just gonna steal your onk. These games were lightning in a bottle. They really were. That's not to say that you could never have a good Silent Hill game ever again. But, yeah. These games were such a perfect storm of the people and the time period, the technology... So many weird little factors that make these games unique that just can't really be replicated intentionally, I think. I think there's a lot of elements that can be re recaptured. But you can... You can try to manufacture a game all you want. You can you can polish the visuals and the audio and everything to a certain degree, the story and everything to a certain degree, but even making like a really quality game is not necessarily going to have the same impact and charm that these games had. Especially for their time, you know. What did you think of Signalis? I still need to play it. Um, I planned on playing it like months ago and then I got sick and uh, basically had to take like two months away from streaming. Everything is going according to I was laying in bed just like Alessa here. In the womb. But it's not done yet. Half the soul is lost. That is why the seed lies dormant. But yeah, at some point I'm, I'll get around to it. What soul remains captured in that husk is buried deep down in the subconscious. Are you trying to say it won't work? That wasn't our agreement. No, no, these are just stalling tactics. If we lend a hand, we will be able to get power. Never fear. The promise shall not be broken. But the power we could draw now will be very weak. Almost nothing. Unless Almost we get the half of the soul. Love this doctor's voice. That's uh, Harry Inaba. Feeling this the uh, voice pain, director. It's sure to come. But that will take time.
That is, yeah. So the two doctors, you've obviously got Kaufman and Dahlia in that scene. And then you've got two doctors. One of those doctors is Michael Gwynn, Harry Mason's voice actor. And uh, the other doctor is Harry Inaba, the uh, voice director for Silent Hill 1. Who is also where they, like his nickname, Harry, is where they got the name for... Harry Mason. So three doctors and a psychic witch. Yes. Technically, I guess a hospital director, but he's Dr. Michael Kaufman. So, but yes, three doctors and a psychic. Yeah, exactly. Walk into a bar. Something, something set a seven-year-old girl on fire. There's a joke. There's a joke to be had, I'm sure. We'll, we'll workshop that. <laughs> Come. Come along. No. To. Do what mommy tells you now. You know. I just want you to <laughs> lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. I'm not. No. I'm not a hundred percent a I fan of like it. Twin Perfect. Like I, I appreciate a lot of their videos and stuff, and a lot it of the information. I don't agree with everything and all the opinions and true. the way they phrase things and portray certain no, things, but. but mommy, I just want to. Be certain with jokes. You. That Twin Perfect made just are just like us. burned into my brain Please forever. Understand? And every time I see this cutscene, yes, when Dahlia says, Lend me a teen, teensy bit of your power, I always think of the Twin Perfect joke where mommy. they're like, I just want to borrow your oh, PSP. I didn't see this before. There's no reason to wait. I just always imagine Herein that. Herein <laughs> lies the mother's womb containing the power to create life. I could have done it all myself. Mommy? Just want to borrow your PSP. <laughs> they do have some really great jokes. Really good gags. Oh. Oh. Okay. For a second, I thought the fucking scene was broken. It was taking a little longer than usual, it felt like. The time is nay. All because of that man. We must be thankful to him. Even though Alessa has been stopped. His little girl has to go. What a pity. <laughs> Freeze! What in the devil's name? What the devil? <gasps> Dahlia. Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. He's right in front of you. I'm in no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. That's Alessa on the left. That's absurd. And Cheryl on the right. The well, the other half soul. of Alessa's soul that Why? was Cheryl. Why are you doing this? Until coming back to the town and becoming an aspect of Alessa again. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive. Kept alive. That's another one where the actor like did that take in a particular way, and the the pause kind of ruins the inflection. He has been nurtured by that nightmare, waiting for the 
day to be born. God nurtured day, by nightmares. Come. They bring this back for Silent the Hill 3. The time is nigh. The time is nay. Everyone will be that is not how you spell nigh. And suffering. I love that typo. Our salvation is at hand. That's the thing. These classic games this are not perfect. The day of reckoning. But they are still masterpieces. When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise, my daughter will be the mother of God. Imperfection adds character. I agree. To a certain extent. There needs to be legitimate quality around the imperfections. Oh, shit. Quit screwing around. Return things to how they were before. Kaufman. Did I ask for this? This part was always Nobody so funny to me. me. Kaufman shows up and talks all this shit. And throws the bottle of agglophitus and then just fucking pieces out. He just leaves Harry what? to, like, deal with this fucking demon. My, aren't we getting cocky? Bet you can't see this and keep your cool. I'd love it is. I thought I got rid of that. All I had to do was plant it somewhere for you to find. You all, well, kept you busy. Ha, ah, you're easy. You're easy. And there's more where this came from. Stop it! Boom. The dramatic camera angles. The complete no sound effect, no music. <laughs> Gerardi. Right in the fucking face. There you go, Kaufman. Somebody had to smash a glass vial into a 14 year old girl's face. And it wasn't gonna be me. Kaufman stepped up. He said, I'm that guy. I love how you can barely hear the dialogue. You can barely hear him over the fucking dentist drill. Yeah. The dryer's going crazy. Tentus drill is on. Yeah, this music is fucking incredible. This is the type of stuff that I wish there was more of as the, the series went on. Again, Yamoka does a few more pieces like this, but nothing quite to this this level. Oh, one shot. I did not check my health. You gotta be completely topped up on hard mode. I think even at full health on hard mode, you can get stun locked in one shot. Dentist drill? Thank you. Never been able to describe that sound. That's not just a description, J Bone. That's literally what is being used. That is what Akira Yamaoka sampled in order to create that part of the song, that element of the composition is a pitch-shifted dentist drill. It's really bad. Oh, this is bad.
Ooh, he was right about to strike too. All right, GG, that's Silent Hill 1. First game of the marathon down. Uh, we put it to a vote for the good plus ending, so enjoy the good plus ending. And we also put it to a vote what we're playing next. And uh, it was decided on that we're playing Silent Hill 4. So Silent Hill 4, after this ending and credits. Stick around, more Silent Hill Marathon. I'll be back in a bit.
Yeah, Silent Evil. I did get the donation, uh, the 666 earlier. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And, uh, Dogaius, Dogius. Happy anniversary. Did I land here at the credits? You landed here at the credits for the first game in a multi-game marathon. So we're done with Silent Hill 1. We put it to a vote earlier and people wanted to see Silent Hill 4. So we're going to switch over to Silent Hill 4 now. Disappointing this track is not on the soundtrack. It's one of the best. I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, you can find it fan like the fan version of it which is uh, Eternal Rest it's like the unofficial title if you need to look it up and you like the track and you want to listen to I'm it on its own since it's not on the, the not on the official soundtrack uh, BH2O Welcome back. Thank you so much for the three months. Very, very much appreciate that. Stock monkey sounds for the next few hours? Hell yeah, lots of stock sounds. That is one thing that uh, Silent Hill 4 always uh, kind of lacked a little bit in the audio department. The music is good. But the, uh, there's a lot of practically unaltered stock audio, stock sound effects, which is in all the games, but it's much more noticeable in 4 because of how many there are, and yeah. Oh, and we, yeah, we have the poll for what to play after we finish Silent Hill 4. So, 2, 3, Origins, or Homecoming. Whoever wants to uh, use your scam points. Yeah. Stuff we didn't play during the last marathon. I mean, we played 2 and 3, but not... Not oranges or homecoming. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, I need to update this. Category, Silent Hill 4. Therum. Some parts of this game are violent and cruel. Uh, and OBS is also saying, hey, fuck you. I did just update OBS. Which, of course, means things are going to work perfectly. Alright guys, give me a moment to try and get OBS to play nice right now.
Why are you like this, OBS? I changed nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now it's like not even picking up at all. What? Like OBS won't detect it as a source of any kind. Very cool. Love that for me. Oh, finally. Uh-oh, homecoming's catching up. Do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. We need to turn off. Well, presumably we need to turn off randomizer settings. We could leave some on. I don't know about randomized damage. Um, homecoming. We'll do some Silent Hill Homecoming after Silent Hill Four. Uh, we'll yeah, we'll just leave all the random stuff on, but we're we're gonna take off random damage. So we won't just randomly fucking die to bugs. Homecoming took half your points. Well, 5,500 channel points, so enjoy Homecoming after this. Why y'all vote like this? Yeah, it was mostly Rachel, who apparently dumped the most points in. Silent Hill 4, new game, hard mode. Ooh, actually. New game. When we could do new game plus. Much better. Oh, after the the interview with the homecoming writers. Yeah. Hard new game plus, oh my, yeah. And randomized items, weapons, enemies, character model, everything except for damage. Yeah, I would like to finish a run and move on to other games. Because randomized damage basically means there's a very, very slim chance of actually finishing a run. Yeah, we're doing randomizer. Why not? I still have it installed from uh, last week when I was doing some Silent Hill 4 randomizer runs. Wet, like 
splorch sound. Wish I had the vitality for long marathon streams. Best you can do in a good day is five to seven hours. Hey, it's different for everybody, and it changes. It changes over time. Oh man! I uh, back when I first started streaming, what I used dream. to do like twenty-four hour marathons practically every weekend. And even if I wasn't doing like a full-on marathon, just a regular stream, like a regular story playthrough stream would very, very commonly be like 12, 15, 18 hours. And I would just do them all in one sitting. Now, uh, I'm almost 40, getting closer. And I've got a lot more health issues. So I can do these kind of marathons and stuff once in a while. Especially for, like, a special event, like a part anniversary or my yard exploding. But, yeah, I definitely can't do this kind of thing every weekend like I used to. And there's no guarantee this is going to be that impressive of a marathon. I'm, I'm going to try to go for at least eight hours, which would be like a Hello? regular fucking stream uh, for, for a lot of full-time streamers. What? what? We'll try and do more cut. than that. But I'm just going to I'm just streaming until I can't stay awake anymore. Chocolate milk and a golf club in the fridge. Starting off with the golf club. We got a three wood. Um, we're Henry. We randomized the default character. I could save and quit and re-roll it. Yeah, nor default Henry's boring. like four hands crammed into one. Yeah, Beta Henry model is all the, what the hell? models that are not default Henry look what's going on here? Like absolute beautiful disasters. That's Eileen Galvin from next door. <laughs> My luck changes before the party. <laughs> I never get tired of hearing Eileen walk away going, stupid. So st stupid. I know, that's the thing, because we've all been there. Where you just, 
you drop something and it breaks. It's like, it really does just make you feel stupid. That's what I love about it. They don't even subtitle it. You just hear, you have to listen for it and just hear her mutter. How does the golf club fit in the fridge? It's one of those traveling golf clubs. Yeah, the handle collapses. Um, okay, so we're playing as default Henry. Uh, and that's boring. So I'm going to save and quit and restart the game. And that will re-randomize our character to something a little bit more interesting than default Henry, hopefully. Uh, if I hadn't picked it up already. But since I already picked it up, the golf club is still going to be the golf club. Yeah, still a three wood. But we should now be a different character. We'll find out right now when we see the reflection. Damn it. You jinxed it. You're the one who kept saying hopefully. What? Well, fuck it. Somebody in there? We're just default Henry then. I wonder if I can get out this way. <laughs> Golf club sticking out of the hole in the wall. I know, there's just so many golf clubs in this game, that's like all you get in the randomizer. We got a putter. Let's fucking go. Henry's bathroom again. Hooligans. Youths. Do you subscribe to the Henry's a socially anxious mess? And the room is a representation of social isolation theory, or do you think they just didn't put that much thought into Henry as a character? Uh, a little of both. I think the character of Henry is left a little bit intentionally vague because he is supposed to be sort of the everyman character. Um, but I don't think that he's completely without like that theory I don't think is completely without merit I think obviously like Eileen saying stuff like even before weird stuff was going on with the room with Walter um, Henry lived there for some time and Eileen is like yeah he lives next door I know his face but we don't know each other like he doesn't go out and talk and know his neighbors and shit um So, yeah, considering the people who live in the apartment, uh, that's not necessarily social isolation on his part, but yeah, there's, there's definitely like, I think some of that being, being intentional, but then, like I said, some of it also being left fake, not giving him 
too much extra character so that you can kind of project and interpret your own ideas. Whoa, who's dancing? That's Cynthia. This is why, one of the reasons why we're playing uh, New Game Plus. This is not part of the randomizer mod or anything. This is in Silent Hill 4. This is an unlockable costume for Cynthia. Who are you? What's your name? Henry. And you? <laughs> this is my dream, and you don't even know my name. It's Cynthia. Your dream. That's right. <laughs> this Does she always just stand over there dancing before you talk to her? And yes. Really terrible one too. In that costume. I hope yes. I wake up soon. In her default costume, no. So you think this Look at is the Robbie dream, tattoo huh? on the butt. Well, if it's not a dream, what is it? Designed by Usagi Tanaka anyway, herself. I want to get out of here, but I can't find the exit. Will you help me find it? I'm kind of scared all alone. I'll do a special favor for you later. <laughs> it's just a dream, so I might as well have some fun. <laughs> I'll... You're the opposite of a favor? Yeah. The special favor that she was going to do for Henry is to voice act in Ratatouille, which is true. Lisa Ortiz does a voice in the shitty dollar store knockoff of Ratatouille called Ratatouille. So if you ever want to see Cynthia or hear Cynthia's voice, as a poorly animated CG rat, look up Ratatouille. What was that animation? She like reached out and gently bapped Henry on the sack. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're getting that special favor. Wait a minute. Oh. 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 I think I'm going to puke. That's where those stock sound effects start start getting distracting. The like stock jaguar. 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 It's a jaguar. Okay. Uh, actually, I need to go check this item because it's going to be randomized and it might be important. Might be the only saint medallion or sort of obedience that I get for the entire playthrough. Pistol would have to be in a weapon placement, not an I not an item spot. So it won't be the pistol, but it could still be something important, more important than pistol bullets. It is a sort of obedience.
What was that? Delay. Oh, right. Golf clubs don't work. See, if this was randomized damage, I would have just been dead. Most likely, I would have get slapped by that monkey like once or twice. Just like that. That's just life. Getting slapped around by monkeys. That's Henry's life. A pistol, the fucking baseball bat. Oh well, it's better than a golf club. Breathing is creepy when you reverse it and echo it. Hmm. Where did I put that damn broom? Damn oh. broom. There it is. Great job, Eileen. I'm proud of you. go get our token from the mannequin that looks suspiciously like Cynthia which is always very weird I mean we see Cynthia we know what winds up happening to her We know that she's not uh, necessarily turned into a mannequin or anything. She's like right down here. Yeah, it's some sort of weird Walter projection thing going on. See, this is where randomized damage starts to be a massive pain in the asshole. Because ghosts can hurt you just by being close to you. So if you see, like, the health bar suddenly pop up in the top left, whenever I'm close uh, or near one of the ghost enemies, oops, um, that means I'm taking damage. And if randomized damage is on, that means that every one of those hits could potentially be death. It's a fun challenge to do once in a while, but... Yeah. It can, it can sometimes be a bit frustrating when... You're doing a run that might very likely not be able to be finished. Ghost random damage, isn't that just luck-based then? Basically. It's basically just dice roll death. That's what randomized damage... Silent Hill 4 is. Every single time you take damage, roll the dice. Sometimes you die. Add a little RNG spice in your Silent Hill 4. Silent Hill 4 by default has quite a bit of RNG spice. But I do like the randomizer. 
I, I like the randomized weapons and items and stuff. Can there be enough damage to one hit KO you? Absolutely. Uh, I was doing some Silent Hill 4 randomizer playthroughs last week, and I wasn't able to finish any runs because you'll just get, like, a bug, the Hummers, the little flying enemies. They can just fly at you at super speed, and uh, they're randomized so they can show up on any screen. And, um, yeah, they can just touch you, and you die in one hit. And that happened to me during the randomizer playthroughs last week. Many times. <laughs> it could happen to you. Trying to think of other RNG stuff in Silent Hill 4 other than hospital rooms and enemy location spawns. Uh, ghost spawn behavior, like the way that they chase you and the screens they show up on uh, when you take damage from them, although the damage amount is not randomized. Um, which hauntings can show up and how frequently they show up when you're in your uh, apartment. Uh, hospital rooms, One Truth, uh, Walter's attack patterns. They can be manipulated somewhat, but there is still a little bit of randomness to it. There's... Oh, uh, Eileen Possession. Eileen Possession. There's, there's a lot of really random stuff in Silent Hill 4. Like, when you start playing it a lot, especially if you're, like, speedrunning and stuff... You really, really start to notice how fucking random stuff is, even just by default. Come on, let me through. I know I'm receiving the wisdom. Nutrition drink, another sort of obedience. Wonderful. stuff that can happen when she's possessed is random? Yes. Uh, and in some ways, the damage she takes is also like how possessed she gets is also somewhat random. Because a lot of that comes down to her AI behavior, which is not always consistent. Enemy AI behavior, which is not always consistent. As you can fucking see... Don't worry, I've still got a pixel. There's an item to my left, but I don't have the health to pick it up because that ghost will kill me. So I have to skip it. Yeah, she's fine. It's just a dream, right? <laughs> I think I drank too much last night. I never got to do that special favor for you. I I feel like I'm dying. 
the jiggle physics even while she's dead I mean I guess realistically he still would rigor doesn't really affect like the fatty tissues oh, I mean she just she's probably still alive a little bit she probably dies in the in the ambulance on the way to St. Jerome I'm curious, do we actually know all that's being said during Eileen's possessions? Because the subtitles obviously aren't telling us. Uh, I used to have a long time ago notes on that. I don't think I do anymore. That was like three PCs ago. Um, but yeah, I know it's out there. The information's out there um, for all of her audio clips. A lot of it is... Um, her voice actress yeah. reading out What's that noise out there? Parts of the 21 sacraments. Uh, different parts of the rituals and stuff. And then she'll say it backwards. It's a lot it's like some of it is the same lines that you hear Andrew DeSalvo saying uh, with his ghost when you're about to fight him and he's floating around like Prepare for the ritual of the 21 sacraments. Eileen says that too, but like in reverse. This away for now. But we're going to need that chalky milk. Whoops. Don't need to do laundry. Actually, funny enough, I do need to do laundry. And I can't because my water is shut off. <sighs> because plumbers have to come out in like eight hours and dig up my entire yard and completely replace all the water pipes because they burst. That was how I got to start my day, by the way. things to happen. I mean, it sucks, but that's part of uh, owning a home. Shit's gonna break. But we haven't lived here that long. It's only been a few years. Oh, come on, pick it up. It was Magnum rounds. Maybe I'll find the Magnum. Most likely not. Uh. 
but yeah, the uh, or the revolver, magnum, same thing. But yeah, it sucks with the water pipes because we had some really cool local plumbers come out and take a look at it and they replaced a part that was broken and we were like all set hoping, oh hi Walter, all set hoping that, uh, you know, that was it once they took care of that and then they turned the water on and it started flooding again shortly afterwards. Yeah, I came back out and took a look at it again and just was like, yep, we're going to have to replace the entire uh, line. Great. I love it when a problem goes from being a $300 fix to a $3,000 fix. Jet Ashtolin. You fucking psychopath. Dad Ashtolin, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Again, I really appreciate hey, all the love and support, especially boy. right now. What are you doing Again, here? we've kind of got, like, a disastrous sudden Your final expense. Third revelation. Something's gonna happen. So everything that, is basically going towards that from this marathon. So Something really appreciate all the happen. love and support, you guys. Finally, it's gonna happen! <laughs> Never realized the incubus on his shirt. Yeah. So that was the final boss from Silent Hill 1 that we just finished. Uh, on Jasper's uh, t-shirt. And the text on the shirt says Hauros, which is a sort of Japanese-English mistranslation of Flauros. So his shirt is the Incubus final boss from Silent Hill 1. And it also is, says Flauros, or the equivalent of Flauros, on it. And Jasper is a Silent Hill fanboy. In, in like the literal sense because at this point in the series with Silent Hill 4 the public knows about Silent Hill because of uh, Joseph's articles and everything that he was publishing on them. his exposés and people who are like fans of the occult real world in their world, real world occult stuff, like Jasper and his friends, once, you know, Silent Hill was public knowledge, they went to go, like, check it out. Let's go look at the creepy cult town. And then ran into Walter, and Walter fucking killed them all. And yeah, good morning, Jet Ashlyn. Very early morning, but hope you're doing well. Thank you again so much for the gift subs, by the way. Um, I would read them out, but I would have to tab out of the game, and that kind of breaks my capture. And the capture was already being stupid, but if you got if you got gifted a sub from Jet Ashlyn, just let her know how much you appreciate it. I also very much appreciate it, especially now. I know, I know, I'm coming. Help me! Help me! Help! Let me out of here! There's something going on in this room. What do you mean? I heard weird noises coming from inside there. Help! Hey, Richard. The best tie in the business. In your window? No. Everything no. was pretty normal to me. 
He's such a I dick. Here. What's he like anyway? Exactly. His name's Richard. I know his name and face, but that's about it. Well, I'm gonna go call the super. Yeah, good idea. This is, this is Frank's problem. Got to sleep, but definitely watching the VOD. Even now I seem to learn something uh, every stream, not to jinx it, but I hope the plumbers work your yard as fast as you work these games. Yeah, I hope I hope it all goes smoothly as it can from this point out. Like, it's... The damage is done. I just have to hope, you know, the repairs aren't any more troublesome than they have to be. But yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, man, that was... Awesome. Here, take this. There's something written on it. I love you don't even see Henry. He's just drinking his milk and chucking shovels. Yeah, enjoy it. Randomized damage? That would have probably been death. It's always the little fucking bugs. The little hummers. Is randomizer part of the game or a mod? Uh, it's a mod. This is a mod developed by Hunter Stanton. Um, if you just Google Silent Hill 4 randomizer mod, you can probably find a link to it. Normally, I would just link you to it. For the VOD, I'll have a link in the description. If you watch on YouTube or anything. Hey, we got the Pickaxe of Despair. Pretty good weapon. But yeah, randomizer. Very cool mod. Because you can randomize weapons, you can randomize items, um, you can randomize enemies, you can randomize damage, and a few other neat little features. It uh, adds in some new weapons and items that are not in the default game. Um, so there's some interesting new things added in and then even if you don't want to randomize anything with the game you can just turn all the randomizer settings off and play the game vanilla and um one extra benefit of the randomizer is that it restores missing hauntings to the pc version so as the game progresses your room eventually the apartment starts getting haunted and the ps2 version always had originally more hauntings than the PC version, and nobody really knew for sure why for a very long time. Eventually, uh, the modder, Hunter Stanton, who made this uh, randomizer mod, figured out that it was just a bug in the code for the PC port that prevented a lot of those hauntings from showing up. But otherwise, the hauntings were still in the game files. So Hunter figured out a way to fix that bug, and included it as part of this randomizer mod. So if you play the PC version of this, the good old games version uh, for, for PC of Silent Hill 4, 
and you want those uh, hauntings restored, just get Hunter's randomizer mod. You can turn all the randomizer stuff off, play the game like normal, but have those hauntings restored. Very nice. I forgot to do the one thing that I needed to do in the apartment, which is put that key in the box. There it goes. Now I can actually get where I need to be. Because otherwise you just loop indefinitely. You wander for eternity. It's a fun little puzzle. Got to figure out how to utilize going back to the room in order to uh, solve puzzles. I like that they sort of introduce that in an, in an interesting way. Although I guess it's really introduced with Cynthia. Because you have to go back in order to spawn her mannequin with the coin. But that one's a little bit less like obvious of what what's going on from like a gameplay trigger standpoint. Whereas wandering for eternity and figuring out you've got to put the key away is always such a cool little puzzle, you know? Bloody key. I did it, Jasper. I got the key. Going in. I like that he comes in with you. Like, he just walks in and walk around and check it out. Came all this way. Might as well. That's how I walk around the house, too. There's a scribbled note. Have you found Alessa yet? How is Walter's progress coming along? Send me a report. Alessa mentioned... It's officially Silent Hill. And now it smells like barbecue Jasper. We'll just stand here and enjoy this for a moment. Just listen to that performance. <laughs> it gets so much louder. news report. In a forest near Silent Hill, the burned corpse of a 30-year-old male was discovered earlier today. 
The police have ruled it a homicide and are investigating. The numbers 17121 were reportedly carved into the man's body. Due to the marks on the victim, the police are investigating possible links to the Walter Sullivan case 10 Walter years ago. Walter Sullivan case. But he's already dead. And his other victims are from 10 years previous. See, this is kind of the one of those things that bugs me about, like, Silent Hill's short message. I'm going to do a very short, short message. I'm going to do a short rant about the Silent Hill phenomenon. Because there's plenty of instances like this of people observing weird shit from outside. And not just thinking of it as the Silent Hill phenomenon type of thing. This is the superintendent. Are you in there, Henry? Help me! There's something wrong with this room! Help me, Frank. Help! Let me out of here! Is anybody home? Hey, Dermon, thank you. What's going on here? Silent Hill short message doesn't feel like it has anything to do with Silent Hill. It doesn't, outside of one note in the title. It's not the, like, worst game in the world or anything. I, I, it's got things in it that I enjoy. But it's definitely, it doesn't feel like a Silent Hill game, and it doesn't really need to be a Silent Hill game, if that makes any sense. It could have just been its own little thing. You take out one note. They just want to make it into a franchise with multiple locations? Oh, I know. The producer has, ba has basically said they want to copy no. Resident Evil format. That sound. And just have different stories happening like all over the world. Yeah, but again, there are, it is very weird that they compare the whole Silent Hill phenomenon thing with COVID. Uh, that just adds to how off that note about the phenomenon feels in short message. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out, since that's something that comes up in this game and in the other games, other original Silent Hill games. The idea of people speculating on weird shit happening in Silent Hill. You know, like Walter Sullivan murder case, but the murderer is dead and there hasn't been, you know, signs of him doing anything for over 10 years, but now it's happening again. So people are acknowledging that that is something strange rather than it being Silent Hill phenomenon. You know? He's not dead. Walter is kind of dead. But here's the thing. He's really doing two rituals. He's doing the, the ritual of ascension. Get it? Ascension? Holy assumption? Basically, the first ten victims, the ten hearts, uh, is the first part of a ritual. And then Walter is the eleventh victim himself. So he takes his own life. He does die. But in doing that, he completes the first half of the ritual, and his ghost basically gets to exist with Silent Hill powers. In order to finish the second half of the ritual. The 21 sacraments. But yeah, exactly. He's not just like dead in prison. But what I'm saying is you hear on the radio 
the reporter talking about it and like the crime scene investigators talking about it where they're trying to logically think about how could this be happening and they're speculating that it's like a copycat and you know stuff like that rather than saying like it's the silent hill phenomenon you know that's that's the main thing me. is is that you have kill me. instances in these original games of people from an outside perspective me. trying to put a logical spin on weird things that happen because of silent hill without it being the tacky silent hill phenomenon that short message tries to write off kill me walter's gonna ki kill me he, he's gonna kill me you kind of deserve it andrew walter's a little bit like freddy krueger a little bit You're getting pulled into a dream, although it's not your own dream that Walter is invading. Like with Freddy, you're kind of having your own nightmare that he is just there for. That's true, not in Dream Master. I guess that changes from movie to movie. So, I mean, yeah, it's not that different. Walter is basically making his own dream worlds of significant locations to him and pulling people into those worlds in order to kill them for part of his his ritual. But that's what all the ghosts are. Those are all Walter's victims. Except for twin victims, which is also Walter's victims. But they don't show up as ghosts, presumably because they were children. He rules as king. Uh, there's a note that you pick up. It says something along those lines. In those worlds. In a world. Henry turns a sluice gate. in his world you find his word yeah you find literally his diary from when he was a child but you have to have Eileen with you what's really cool about that there's three different readings for all of those diary entries all of Walter's writings in Forest World um, when you go back with Eileen and she can actually read them the amount of of detail that she reads them with varies depending on how possessed she is. So if she's really, really possessed, she reads them like she's little Walter. She'll actually sort of read it in like her doing a, a young Walter voice. It's like Walter possessing her, speaking through her. If she's only a little bit possessed, she reads it kind of in her normal voice um, but she can't read all of it like word for word there's certain parts of it that she can't make out um, and then if she's not possessed at all she can like barely read any of it she can only read like a couple words from each each thing it's really cool a lot of details like that uh, that I really like in this game <laughs> there's multiple Walters there are multiple Walters on this floor 
don't know if it's going to be worth looting stuff. <laughs> I'm just... I can just hear shit happening. Walter... Something slapped Walter. There's multiple Walters laughing. Squishing bugs. What's it called? Panopticon? Uh, yeah, that is correct. Panopticon, I believe. The design for the water prison is based on an actual uh, prison design called the Panopticon, where everything is centered around a, uh, it's basically several rings around a, a middle so that you can have uh, a large view of multiple floors of prisoners with minimal guards. Walter Sullivan, by the time of Silent Hill 4's release, was merely still a name on a gravestone in Silent Hill 2 and a few journal entries, right? So, I mean, with Silent Hill 2, they introduce Walter Sullivan through a note that's basically just meant to be kind of a, a foreshadowing to Pyramid Head. And... Um, You get the gravestone, and you get the note in the, the dumpster in the apartments. And that's pretty much it. So, by that point, real world, like, development-wise, Walter Sullivan was not fleshed out as a character. Like, they didn't have Silent Hill 4 planned when they put those notes in Silent Hill 2. Members of the dev team, when they started working on Silent Hill 4, took those little notes and the character of Walter and expanded it. And in the process, kind of retconned some things as well, but not necessarily in the, in the worst of ways. Everything rotated the way we need it. Let's go talk to Andrew. Hear him say, oh my god, about a hundred times. I'm not making it big standing there anymore. Let me stay in there. I can't wait to stop. I can't me inside. Let me stay in there. God, please. Come on, let me out of here. So I don't need to I don't die in here. Stay in there, Walt. Walt, I'm telling you, stay down. Walk away. Who is that boy? And who are you? His name's Walter. Walter Sullivan. I used to work at the orphanage watching the kids. I'm Andrew DeSalvo. They tried to make it seem like an orphanage, but according to that town's holy scriptures, it was actually the center of their religion. And that kid, Walter, he was really into that mumbo jumbo. Especially that descent of the Holy Mother business. That was scary. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you for that valuable input. Oh, my God. If anything, the Silent Hill 2 concept of Walter feels very different. Gravestone's presence in the Labyrinth and the Red Devil mention make it sound like he was another person who went on a judgment quest in the town like James Angela Eddy. Yeah, and that's kind of what it's supposed to be, right? Uh, all the notes you find about other characters are meant to kind of be parallels to James, Angela, or Eddy. Uh, 
in Silent Hill 2. Like, you find the patients, uh, Joseph Barkin and all those three patients in uh, Brookhaven. And they're obviously parallels to James and Eddie and Angela. So I felt like Walter, for the purpose of Silent Hill 2, was just supposed to be, you know, something like that. He's playing this parallel who's also seeing monsters and, you know, strange things, having strange things happen to him. The Red Devil, like I said, is kind of a foreshadowing for Silent Hill 2 for Pyramid Head. But that's what I mean when I mention, like, retcons. They take those little core ideas, the name Walter Sullivan, the soup spoon in the neck, death, um... And uh, and those those little aspects from those notes, and turn it around and flesh it out into something more for Silent Hill Four, where they give Red Devil an entirely different meaning. Um, but yeah, Silent Hill Two Walter is basically a different character. Why is Walter here? Enemy randomizer. Items, weapons, enemies uh, are all randomized. Will I be playing the Wii game tonight, uh, Murky Dirk? It depends on what people vote for. Um... I'm letting people vote with their scam points to determine what games we play during the marathon. I started with Silent Hill 1. I put it up to a vote. People voted Silent Hill 4. We started Silent Hill 4. We put it up to a vote what to play after this. And uh, Homecoming won. So we'll be doing Homecoming after this. So after that, if people vote Shattered Memories, we will play Shattered Memories. Uh, although I probably won't play it on Wii, because that's a pain in the ass to set up and get everything going for and capture and everything. So I'll probably emulate the PS2 version if uh, if Shattered Memories gets gets voted for. And I need to go stretch my legs for a little bit. We've got a long marathon ahead of us. We're only about five hours in, but I'm going to take a really short break. So I will be back in just a couple minutes. We will continue on with some more Silent Hill 4 and uh, Silent Hill Marathon. Back in a bit.
To it. Silent Hill 4 Hard Mode Randomizer. Part of today's Silent Hill series marathon. Celebrating seven years today of being a Twitch partner. And also raising some money to help. What an appropriate time to talk about it, too. As the sound of rushing water comes from over here or rushing blood thankfully ours wasn't blood but we had a uh, a pipe in our yard burst and uh, our whole main water line needs to be replaced we had a bunch of flooding and shit from that that we're gonna have to deal with so celebrating seven years of <laughs> being partnered on twitch and unfortunately uh my damn water pipes bursting so any support during the marathon all going to help me uh 
try and cover some of the cost of this disaster. Yeah, otherwise, it's a Silent Hill series marathon. We've already played Silent Hill 1. We're putting it to community vote. What, uh, what games we play. So Silent Hill 4 was voted for next, so we're going through 4. And I'm playing on hard mode along with a item, enemy, weapon, randomizer. Just for some extra fun. We've already uh, had a community vote on what to play next. So after this, I'll be playing through Silent Hill Homecoming. And we're just going to keep doing that. Keep voting on games. On Silent Hill games. I'm going to keep playing them. Until I can't stay awake anymore. Ouch! Ouch! Damn it! Where the hell am I? The legend. The legend, Richard Braintree. <sighs> You're a real person. Hey. You're the guy that lives I'm across from, from me. I'm Brams, the next town over. Yeah. My name's Henry. Tomopoli, welcome I'm back. Richard Thank Braintree. you so much for the two months. From 207. Very, very much appreciate that support. Thank you, What thank the you. hell's happened to us? That whole... In this freaky world. This character but looks like Douglas. If you're here too. A little bit, I could see it. Then there must be something wrong. It's the hair. The whole apartment building. That must explain what happened to that other guy too. Imagine if Douglas had a tie like that. What other guy? The guy who lived in 302 before you. Journalist. He disappeared one day. He got pretty crazy towards the end. <sighs> Shut himself up in his room and wouldn't come out. Anyway, I'm getting the hell out of here. I love the you way he do does that. You know what's the good for you. the over the shoulder like point with both thumbs. Watch out for that kid. Getting the hell out of here. Guess who's got two thumbs and is not sticking around for this bullshit. Alright, we got the ghost key. Uh, I kind of need to free this ghost to see what this item is. We've already got uh, Swords of Obedience. Ideally, we want to try and get a, a pistol, which we still don't have, and a silver bullet, which we still don't have, before Waterworld second time. Come on, silver bullet. Hey, we actually got... What are the fucking odds? We got the silver bullet. Okay. Now we just need a pistol. Now we just need a pistol. That's always the hard one, because for some reason, with the weapon randomizer in this game... Oh my god, Jasper, you fuck. Uh, because of the weapon randomizer in this game, and the amount of golf clubs in this game as weapons... Actually getting... Ooh, same medallion. That's going to come in handy, too. Um, act, you know, getting the pistol at any point is, is such a gamble. All right, this is where you would normally get the bat. And instead, we get... Box cutter. You know, honestly, not the worst weapon in the world. It's low damage. 
but you ch get full charge with it very quickly. And you have iframes during that entire, like, thrust attack. This is where you would normally pick up one of the golf clubs, a five iron. And we got the steel pipe. No pistol. No pistol. All the box-based enemies are going down hard. Oh, yeah. All the cardboard enemies don't stand a chance. Uh, pick up the key, you fucker. curl up in bed again. All right, Sinistar, take it easy. Have a good one. Hope you sleep well. Thank you for being here and for all the love and support. God, the voice is starting to go out already. Don't laugh at me, Walter. Seems like fixed cameras wilder in Silent Hill 4 than it is in 3 or 2. I can definitely see myself hitting walls a lot more. The problem isn't so much the camera. See, Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3, uh, they both give you the option of tank controls. So no matter where the camera is, if it's swinging next to you, left, right, above, below, all of those camera angles, no matter what, up is always forward. So. A lot of people don't like tank controls. I think for static cameras, tank controls are almost necessary for controls to feel fluid. Because just you can put the camera wherever you want and the player never gets disoriented. You can immediately put the camera forward, behind, above, below, and the controls never change. Up is always forward, down is always backwards, left always rotates to the left, right always rotates to the right. This game does away with tank controls. There is no option for tank controls. There's only directional. So you pull the, st the stick to the left right now because the camera is oriented this way, so that's the direction that I go. If I go down on the stick, I go like that. But as the camera moves with you, the direction moves too. So it makes movement really, really awkward. You're constantly having to adjust the angle that you're running and the direction that you're running along with the camera changes. And when the camera changes every like two seconds, it's a little awkward. One of the weirder Silent Hill 4 choices. The team specifically was setting out to make something different with Silent Hill 4, like you live in that they wanted too? it to distinguish huh? itself from Say, the rest of the series. Not you look a lot in like the way that so many people, you know, caught. talk about it starting there. as not a Silent Hill game. It was like what's going on? very briefly hey, supposed hey, to be you. Room 302. Stop. Very, very briefly supposed to be Room 302 as like a spinoff um, that, that very early on wound up becoming Silent Hill 4. <laughs> And that, I need to pick this up and try and get through this difficult spot. Hold on. Uh, pistol bullets. Not a pistol. Oh, come on. See, with randomized damage, that, that section, getting hit by anything is basically a death sentence. I got stuck on this part so many times uh, with random damage. But yeah, basically they set out to, to make something different with Silent Hill 4. And uh, 
They definitely accomplished that. But they kind of sacrificed some aspects that made the previous Silent Hill games good in an attempt to, to do different things. They wanted to do the more limited inventory system. They wanted to do the first person segments and room hauntings, having a sort of hub world. And a lot of those things I think are cool. I think those are neat choices. But yeah, the, uh... <gasps> Pistol? This is normally the rusty axe. Oh, baby. Andrew is dead. I, I, again, he's gonna be extra dead and pinned to the ground very easily. We got our Saint Medallions. We've got our Silver Bullet. We've got our gun. We've got our swords. The randomizer has blessed us this day. Uh, let's go save. Why is Henry's model white in some rooms? Borked lighting? Uh, it's randomizer fog. So the randomizer mod gives you a bunch of extra options. So these are all the extra options added for the randomizer. You can turn randomized enemies on, randomized, randomized items, random character model, random damage, extra content, so that adds the new items and weapons that are not originally in the game, and then the fog approaches, which just adds white fog everywhere. It's just an extra thing. I can turn it off, and we'll go back to the regular lighting. It's just an extra little feature. Just for fun. Oh, let me put stuff up. Um, out of all of my weapon choices, ooh, I do have this. I'll save this and the silver bullet and the swords. We're good for dealing with Andrew and other ghosts. We've got other extra swords, um, so we can potentially pin multiple ghosts if we have to. But you don't really have to. As long as you have a setup to pin Andrew, he's the only ghost that you really need to use a sort of obedience on. Where it's like required. Get out of here. Good. Awesome. Bonk. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Oh, calm down, Richard. Just a little electricity. took damage from the ghost up there with random damage on that could have been death just because this fucker is floating near me A 
of taking damage from enemies clipping into the ground. It's not because they're clipping in, just proximity to ghosts in general hurts you in this game. Seems like it would take a lot more effort to say the numbers than to just, like, say his name. Presumably he knows Walter's name. I would assume that more than he'd remember the numbers. Looks like another one, Captain. Got one... One, two, one, on his head. It's just like that case from ten years ago. Yeah, that Walter Sullivan case. But Sullivan's dead. They even got the body. Must be some crazy copycat. Must be that Silent yeah, Hill phenomenon. But even so... Anyway, let's go catch a picture show. There's something in the turlet. Could I grab it? I'm not brave enough to do it. Yeah. That's why James stuck his hand in the toilet. He's brave. <laughs> He's so brave. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, Heather is like, who would do something so disgusting? Who would do something so brave? Eileen's all dressed up for the party. Hope my luck changes before the party. I guess it did change. It got much worse. <laughs> she has monkey feet. It looks like my apartment. What the hell is this? What the hell? Thank you, Treen. What the hell? The hell is this? Dang it, Bobby. Key Frank. If 
I was trapped in Silent Hill and I needed an item from the toilet, I'd just choose death <laughs> over getting it out. It's okay, I think a lot of people might. That away. We're gonna need this. We put this away. Yeah, we're gonna loot everything. I'm gonna loot everything here. Although we have everything we need for Andrew. I don't really have to. Also sent you a tippy. Let me check on tippies. I haven't caught up on that. Um, I don't have alerts and stuff for PayPal tips, but very much appreciate. Oh my God. Well, I'm glad I looked. Jed Ashtalin, thank you so much for a $400 tip. That's definitely going to help out. That is a huge chunk. Again, my whole fucking yard exploded and we have to have all the water lines replaced. It's going to be like insane. So that's a huge, huge dent in that bill. Thank you so much, Jed Ashtalin. Very much appreciate it. Much love. And yeah. You're going to get to experience it firsthand. Come and hang out at the No Water House. <laughs> Watch them tear the yard apart. Thank you so much. Um, and again, the tips through uh, PayPal, they don't give usernames, and I don't want to give anybody's actual names away, but uh, someone tipped... $52. Thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate that. And Trina. Thank you so much for the $15. It's not much, but I still wanted to contribute to them pipe funds. Thank you so much. Helping me get them new pipes. We fucking need them. I miss having water. I instinctively try to flush my toilet every time I go to the bathroom, and then I'm like, oh, right. Uh, that's absolutely insane. Thank you all so much for all the love and support so far. Jed Ashtlin, that, uh, Trina, everybody, you're all fucking insane. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate it. <clears throat> all right. We're not in here yet. The dryer did spray blood all over the place. Yeah, I do hate when that happens. Oh man, that reminds me. We're gonna have fucking... I got towels in the washing machine that can't be washed, but they're already wet. They're gonna get... musty and gross by the time the water's working. Hate that shit. It's locked. What was that guy doing here? Could he be the next victim? Yeah. Walter's the next victim. Uh, I need to go visit Frank. Uh, fuck you, Walter. I'm not taking your stinky doll. Oh, hey, Walt, Walter and Walter. Oh, look at him squaring up. Had to come over here and punch me in the balls. <laughs> cool. Walter on Walter violence. The Super Walter Bros. Mm -hmm. The 
items. Do you have items in your apartment? Do you have games on your phone? Frank Sunderland? No. Self. Especially if yourself is Walter Sullivan. Uh, oh yeah. Do, do I want Eileen to have the submachine gun? Are we going to try to go for like a good ending? It's randomized enemies, so I mean the likelihood of that and hard difficulty is already not very high. Letting Eileen shoot a bunch of stuff with the gun is uh, kind of fun. I uh, yeah. I'm taking it. Using the, uh, the, the submachine gun makes Eileen become possessed, but ba it kind of guarantees a bad ending. But whatever. All the Walters laughing at me. How are we gonna laugh at you? Do a couple power squats in front of his apartment door. away. I need this red paper. Not this paper. Paper. Where Joseph writes about his wicked bad headache. That causes the key to spawn. Now we can go get into Eileen's apartment. And just because I'm tired of boring old Henry, I'm going to try to restart the game again and get another character model before this cutscene. Because we're not getting the full randomizer experience. Character model can also be randomized, and we randomized default Henry twice. I'm going to try again. if we can get someone other than default Henry. Like the mix between real world and nightmare in this one. Very cool to have the outside world interact with the nightmare world and wonder what the fuck's going on. Yeah, I like the different perspectives of it. Especially, like, 
some of the details with that, how you can look out your window and see your neighbors. So for example, he's dead now, so his apartment's empty, but Richard Braintree, while you're in the uh, building world the first time around, where, uh, where you run into Richard, if you come back to the real world and then look out your window, you can see Richard is just sleeping in his, in his room, in his apartment. So just the same way that Henry wakes up every time he's exiting Walter's world, it essentially happens to your subconscious, your soul, whatever, while your body in the real world is just sleeping. So you can see that as an example with Joseph, uh, or excuse me, with uh, Richard, just by looking out the window and seeing he's just there sleeping. even think of doing something so disgusting. Hey, we got Beta Henry. Well, it's not default Henry. And we got raided by Crybaby VT. <laughs> Crybaby, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Eileen says welcome. Oh, I'm getting smacked by monkeys. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. I'm Nub Zombie. We're doing a big old Silent Hill marathon. I'm currently doing Silent Hill 4 Randomizer. But we're playing a bunch of Silent Hill games today. Celebrating seven years of being a partner on Twitch. one of the few scenes where he looks sort of normal. Yeah. He'll look a lot more messed up in the other cutscenes. Good timing to join the stream. Face full of Eileen ass. I mean, that's going to be a significant portion of the game now. But specifically those angles, right? Jesus. Why does Beta Henry look like brown-haired Dante? <laughs> Kinda. I can see it. I'm not sure. They definitely tweaked his design. I like the final design of Henry more. Beta Henry also kind of just has, like, Harry Mason clothes. But yeah, this is what... Henry's model would have looked like or looked like in the pre-release versions of Silent Hill 4. This like brown shirt and blue jeans. I say this as if you're able to see it at all right now while we're in first person, but you know. Yeah, I know. Give me that. No, give me the strange paper. The succubus talisman. I need all of my plates. Or that. And that's a face. I mean, it looks even more fucked up with 
this scene. The perspective. But yeah, the model, when it swapped out... <laughs> yeah, there you can see his jaw is missing, his... The tips of his feet are on his head. He has about eight hands bundled up into each hand. There's uh, Claudia Wolf from Silent Hill 3 making a cameo. That's not part of the randomizer, that's just Silent Hill 4 reusing uh, asset from Silent Hill 3. Look at the hand. Look at his 18 fingers. Don't worry, he's fine. This is where you would normally get the box cutter. It's now the bug spray. Ooh. AI generated Henry. <laughs> He's so shocked. His jaw is both on the floor and his foot is in his mouth. Exactly. See? There's his x-ray. You can see the damage is quite severe. My purse. What the hell? Here, there's normally an ampule, but now it is revolver bullets. For a for a revolver, we still don't have, and likely never will. Oh, that's bullshit. Randomized a fucking thing right in front of the door. Well, time for parts of this game that are randomized. Oh my god. That are normally randomized. The location and position of these rooms are randomized uh, by default, but the enemies inside of them also being randomized causes uh, some crazy shit, as you can see. Another baseball bat. You have two aluminum bats. Haunted wheelchair, most dangerous enemy of them all. Yep. What used to just be a weird... Creepy uh, reference to Alessa being wheelchair bound in the original game. Now it's just a fucking have a haunted wheelchair. Here's a wheelchair with a ghost sitting in it. This is normally revolver ammo. It is now a Lord's Prayer. So this is one of the new items that's added in uh, as part of the randomizer. Hunter uh, took some icons that were in the game files for items that are unused in the final version and basically gave them a use. So he turned this icon for this like page with the halo of the sun on it into a Lord's Prayer. A prayer written in an ancient language lifts Eileen's curse slightly. So he, there's uh, some extra items for healing Eileen's possession, her curse. Really cool addition. Like, not only does it randomize things, but 
Here's some extra items and stuff now. Uh, and that feature is also one that can be toggled off. So if you ever want to just play the randomizer and not include those things and only the default in-game weapons and items, you can just turn it off. Hey, big moaning Eileen face. Time to find out who's been watching the stream without headphones as they scramble to adjust the volume. The spinner Oh, there's the real Eileen. Right next door to the big face Eileen. <laughs> Just need the key. Just need that key. This is normally a health drink. We got another prayer. Normally a saint's medallion. It's another prayer. We got three in a row. Pistol bullets. It is a fourth prayer. And now I've only got room to pick up the key. going to be in the absolute, like, last door. Uh, sorry, the key. Found her. Yep. R11. Very, very end of the hallway. Which is nice for a change. Usually I get like perfect RNG during uh, not speed runs. Yeah, exactly. It was almost R1. Had an extra. Oh my god, these fucking chairs are gonna kill me. I'm dead. I think it's all set once you see it. Yeah, because, like, this was paper cutting knife that wound up becoming bug spray. Yeah, same thing. It's all the same. Uh, pretty sure the rooms. Yeah. At this point, I can just run all the way down to the end here. I'll skip out on my four Lord's Prayers. Yeah, grab the key. And then Eileen was also on the right. There she is. Oh. <laughs> 
Eileen! Eileen, relax! Grabbing her with those 12 fingers. Face. I don't... I don't know where to start. There was this, this strange hole in my room. I saw people getting killed. All these weird other worlds. And I saw you get attacked too. What are you talking about? I'm supposed to believe that? But it's true. And there was a kid with you. Look at that fucking hand. Oh. Oh. I remember now. I was getting ready to go to my friend's party. All of the models, like the SWAT models, kind of have their own particular, like, favorite part about how no. fucked up they are. Like, Eileen, it's the eyeball floating up above her head. I'm sorry. For Beta Henry, it's the hand. It's the manimal paw. It just like so four scary. hands combined into one. This place. Where is it anyway? Uh, I don't know either. But I do know that if you get killed here, then you die in the real world too. If you die in the game, you die for real. Anyway. The only way out of here is through that hole. Okay. Okay. Take me with you. Take me with you to this hole. Let's go. Don't you point at me, you fuck. He's fine. Everything's fine. Walter. Be chill, Walter. Is it not weird how there's no side quest to save side characters in Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3 compared to Silent Hill 1? I mean, technically you do save a side character in Silent Hill 3. Depending on which ending you get, you save or kill Douglas. Um, hell, depending on which ending you get, you, you can save Harry if you get the UFO ending. Uh, Silent Hill 2... The whole point in that game is kind of that nobody, no one in that game can really sh be saved. That that game's a little beyond the like typical redemption saving type of arc. A little more bleak. Air in this room feels heavy. <laughs> Meaning we can no longer heal in our apartment. We're about to start getting hauntings. I need a uh, envelope. That's not an envelope, that's a cat. Uh, Reese, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Rambo Rachel. Very much appreciated. Thank you so much for the support.
Thank you, Reese. Very kind of you. You've been here the whole time? Yeah. And I didn't see any yeah. hole either. You just disappeared all of a sudden. I can't stay here by myself. I'll be cursed. You know it. What am I gonna do? I might know a way to save you. Do you know about someone named Joseph? I imagine Henry just no clips through the wall from Eileen's POV. Pretty much. Yeah, he, he just kind of appears in the room. He disappeared about six months before you moved in. But toward the end, he started acting really weird. Yeah, he was doing an investigation. About a religious cult and a man named Walter Sullivan. I got this letter from him. He told me to go got down, a letter. down into the deepest part of him, and to look for the ultimate truth. The name on the envelope said, "Let's do Joseph. that." There must be something down there. <laughs> the fucking wiggly shoes. Why she emphasizes you're the only, like, I guess, I guess I'll go with you. The words you just said don't make any sense to me, but sure. I'll go with you down to the deepest parts of Walter Sullivan. Whatever that means. Let's do it. Get out of here, Walter. Oh my god, there's another Walter beating the shit out of a monkey down here. It's chaos! Oh god, they're shooting Eileen. Stop. Stop killing Eileen. Stop. Stop it. Stop shooting me. Oh my god. Eileen, please run down here. You made it. Against all odds. She's going to be very possessed. Might as well give her that gun. Clock haunting. Uh, don't want to really start clearing hauntings just yet because we've only got one medallion and one candle and we might potentially need them for dealing with other things like ghosts. Mainly ghosts. We just kind of have to deal with hauntings for now.
Yeah, Rambo Rachel. You got gifted a sub, courtesy of Reese. Here you go, Eileen. Here's your complimentary gun. What is this place? Uh, find escort quests is uh, one of the gameplay mechanics that always backfires. Tries to get you to care about the NPC, but usually just makes the player despise them. Yeah, it's really hard to do escort quest type stuff well. This game, it's so frustrating because it kind of emphasizes one of the parts about it, like... You have the first escort part with Cynthia, where you're leading her through the subways, and... Cynthia just teleports. No matter how far away she is from you, if you go through a door or a, a different zone or whatever, um, she's always going to be right in the next room with you. Whereas Eileen, one of the roughest parts about the escort half of this game, it's the entire second half of the game, and Eileen has to be near you to go to like follow you into the next spot. I wonder if Joseph is still alive. And the the way that that works is not made very clear because it can be manipulated by looking around with your camera and she just has to be within like a certain range. But yeah, there's there's weird stuff to Eileen following you from from place to place. And it winds up kind of I don't know, really taking away a lot of the a lot of the fun the second half of this game could have been could have been better. Cuz it's already hard enough to keep Eileen like from taking damage and stuff. Even if she could teleport around and follow you a little better. shoe face stay away from me Sadako oh, I forgot what was that hit oh my god Eileen saved me uh, I forgot I need to go back and get the subway tokens Walter, you piece of shit. Oh, come on. Sometimes you can get more than one. Yeah. Lock on, buddy. Weird choice that you miss out on lore if Eileen is not sufficiently possessed. That is definitely a weird choice. And to coincide with that, you also miss out on some lore just for playing on normal or hard difficulty. So there is very little in the way of puzzles in Silent Hill 4. Um, most of the puzzles are more like 
practical things, not practical. It's more of like a logical progression type of thing. You know, getting the coin to wash in the sink, to use in the vending machine, so on and so forth, rather than like Silent Hill 1, you know, getting four colored plates that are all themed around Alice in Wonderland and doing that. So there's not puzzle difficulty in this game, but if you pick easy difficulty, when you get to Water Prison the first time, you pick up a note that gives you clues about, well, it gives you some lore about Walter and the kids in the prison and the guards. And it gives you some clues in that lore as to how to solve what you're doing in the Water Prison, how to rotate the rooms and get to the middle area and all of that. If you play on normal, there's less information on that note. And if you play on hard, that note has like one sentence. It basically gives you no clues and no lore. So really weird choices with some of those things. That's not the one I want. That's the filthy envelope. I also have no healing items. Dying. I'm just dying. I'm gonna be dead. Shit, I forgot the damn <gasps> tokens. No way, you all came back. Kill. Kill. Thank you. isn't weird if you see it from the angle that devs want to encourage replayability. I mean, there's lots of ways to do replayability that doesn't necessarily like lock you out of story and lore. Especially on like a first playthrough. But I get it. That is just kind of also a sign of the, the times. The, the games of that era were definitely kind of like that. Hey, Mom. Thank you for the happy partner anniversary wishes. Really need some heals. way. Where the fuck are you, Eileen? Why are you not running in this direction? Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Oh, I thought proximity damage was gonna kill me. Oh, it still might. 
there's an item over here. I have to go for it. Come on. Heal, 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 heal. It's normally a heal. Uh, not the kind of heal that I need. Sort of obedience. Oh. Alright. Hopefully there's not a haunting immediately in the closet to kill me. Nice. The shoes are going to kill me. Um, I've got to use the candle. I've got to use a holy candle or my shoes will kill me. These are just the things we live with. My shoes are no longer haunted. God, this sucks. <laughs> I really need a heal. I'm trying to figure out if I should even... I guess I'll do uh, a save. Just in case I need to go back to that other one. You've never seen the candle being used? Or specifically just like that haunting being cleansed? It's kind of cool because you see the... Oh my god kind of cool because you see the like shoes teleport back to where they should be hey what's up saya kind of sucks. We need to kill all these boys so Eileen can get through. We can one-shot them with this uh, pickaxe. It's also kind of awkward. things considered, I'm okay. Had a bit of a disaster the last couple days. Uh, we had a water pipe burst in our yard. 
and we found out all, all of our pipes, like everything has to be replaced. So, a bunch of shit got flooded. And we have a very expensive bunch of shit to deal with our house and our yard now. But, you know what? Fuck it. We're also celebrating seven years of being partnered on Twitch. Chilling, playing a bunch of Silent Hill games. Stay positive. Hey, dude, I rarely catch your streams because of time difference. I've watched the lore playthroughs uploaded to YouTube for years. Just a big thanks, man. Always enjoy the streams and videos. Thanks, Hennessy. I'm glad you enjoy what I do. Always means a lot to me just to. Just to hear those kind of kind words, because sometimes things are difficult and it makes me glad to know that people, you know, out there appreciate what I do. Thank you so much. All right. Now we need to get Eileen. I can go through and then heal her. This it should come straight over here. Um, I need to use E over here, though. And she's going to follow me down. I kind of don't want that, but... It's fine. That's yeah, fine. We just need to open this and run back up. Murder scene key. All right, let's go, Eileen. This game could have benefited so much from a follow me, wait here type command as well. Like if they're going to hard commit to Eileen doesn't follow you from area to area. That mechanic wouldn't feel so bad if you could tell Eileen, like, wait here. That's you. So many situations where you just want her to stay in an area like there I just wanted to run down get the murder scene key and then run back up so I just want her to stay up here but you can't just be like stay here wait follow me wait you can't do that That would have made things so much simpler. This is one of the only parts of the game where you can run way ahead of Eileen and she'll still teleport to where you are at the bottom of the escalator. This is like the only time where it works that way. And boom, she's here. Son of a bitch, Cynthia might kill me. Eileen, shoot her! Get her ass!
my god, I'm stuck. Thankfully, Cynthia didn't come and murder my shit. Uh, oh my god, a heal. We have been blessed. RN Jesus. Mom. Mom Zombie, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Thank you, Mom. Appreciate the, the love and support for my entire existence. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, yeah, Eileen is uh, incredibly possessed. She can also damage me if I stay uh, too close to her. But it is cool watching the freakouts. Again, one of these days I'll have to find all my notes and all the stuff that she starts like saying while she's freaking out like that. A lot of it is uh, parts of the cult writings, the 21 sacraments, stuff like that. Don't go too far ahead. Uh, but she's saying it in reverse. Part of the rando, or she just took too much damage? Uh, she just took too much damage, and she gets more cursed the more that she uses that weapon, the New Game Plus uh, machine gun. Just by using that. It, uh, it curses her. Could be done with these. And heal her with these. Although I'm pretty sure we checked and they work like candles. So it's only temporary, uh, healing. Still something. Even with both of those things, he is still very, very possessed. And not good at following. There we go. So this is not randomized. This is always a torch since you need it to be able to progress certain items that are necessary like that can't be randomized. I wouldn't mind a setting in future updates to the randomizer if, if Hunter ever adds anything more to it. I wouldn't mind randomizing key items. Just for like crazy difficulty. Pray pray to R and Jesus you get the shit you need type of runs. Come on, Eileen. I need you to follow. Get up. Oh, the dog. 
dog. Henry's so dramatic when dying. We talked about that, like, last week when I was doing randomizer runs. Because you die a lot in randomizer runs, and you hear that scream a lot. We're like, that's like the most that Henry emotes in this whole game. Is when he overdramatically dies. Oh look, the dog laid down. Yeah. An animation you don't get to see very often. Run! Dog Silent Hill 4 dogs are such bullshit. Uh-oh. 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 I'm just gonna have to try and come back for Eileen later. And a bug killed me. Try again. This part's rough, man. This part with very low health. And this whole second half of the game. Brutal. Alright. I just have to book it. I might have to backtrack some extra screens to get Eileen. But uh, we kind of have to do what we can right now. And I just don't have the health to tank any hits. I'm trying to wait for her. This is normally a health drink. And it's an Eileen heal. Can Walter walking around with his chainsaw? This is normally a silver bullet. Now it's a first aid portable medical kit. Oh, we needed that. I needed that so bad. Uh, this is normally a nutrition drink, another Eileen heal, not the worst thing. Let's drop shit off. at the tablet. Go in the hole.
Henry's outfit looks decent. I mean, he makes the, the brown shirt and blue jeans work. But I can definitely see why they changed the outfit. He looks a little too Harry Mason. Want this. Revolver bullets, that's not helping. What was in that chalky milk? That's why you always, always check the expiration date on your chalky milk. Ampule. Look at that. Full heal. This is normally chainsaw. Uh, now, it's a golf club. health drink. Hey, another ampule. Okay. Good shit. Getting some heals. Time to drop inventory. That's the biggest thing about this part of the game. You've got to go back because of the inventory limitations so much. things that are going to potentially cause us to take damage whenever we're trying to heal. Let's soak the torch in oil. Speaking of death scene, which Silent Hill has the best main character death animation slash sound? Ooh. Unironically, Homecoming has quite a few cool death scenes. Homecoming legitimately does have some cool death scenes. Um, if a lot of the enemies that do like QTE grabs, if you fail that QTE, it's usually like a really brutal death. Schisms will like fucking slice Alex in half. So, Homecoming actually does have uh, some pretty graphic, like, death scenes. Another heal, that's nice. Another candle, so hopefully we can take care of uh, some hauntings. A haunting.
They really upped the gore factor in Homecoming. Most likely an effect of the movie. Oh, it absolutely was. So much of Homecoming was, uh, was influenced through aspects of the, the first Silent Hill movie. Jasper. Go drink your milk. Normally where you would get the pickaxe of despair, but we've already got it. So chainsaw. Sure. Uh revolver bullets? Eileen heal? Something? Another silver bullet. Okay. Time to pin all of the ghosts. Hi, little Walter. Are you Walter Sullivan? My name is Shoeface. That's what everybody calls me, but I don't really have a name or a home either. Well, what about a mom or dad? Yeah, but I never met him. They left South Asheville Heights right after I was born. But soon I'll get to see my mom. Do you know where she is now? Yeah, of course. Right where I was born. Lots of people tried to stop me, but it's fine now. It says in the scriptures that I'll be with her. I gotta hurry, mom's waiting. Alright, bye, you little weirdo. I don't trust any child that knows the word scriptures. good stuff. For now we're just storing everything. Actually, I need to use the candle. So we can save without taking damage. We need to get rid of the windows. bit of damage from it. Nice. That was able to get the TV and the clock as well. Now we still have that. It should be okay for now.
medallion. Let's see what this is. It's normally a med kit and it's another silver bullet. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. Think there's an in-game version of Innocent Moon out there? There's a lot of stuff on the Silent Hill official soundtracks that's uh, missing. And even fans and stuff doing digging and grabbing stuff out of game files and trying to recreate some of those uh, in-game versions that aren't really out there. There are some specific songs that are like really hard to find the specific version. We just gotta go get Eileen. Used to rely on Fungo's media site for music and sound clips. Uh, it's still there. It's still a good source for that kind of thing. Um, SilentHillMedia.net At least last I checked it was still there. Hasn't been that long, maybe a month or so. Alright, let's bring these... Try to get Eileen to uh, follow me through these screens a little bit easier. spot. Dude, I should have brought heals. I didn't think I would need them. I thought I would only need Eileen heals. Get up. Get up. I used all three fucking things and she's still there. I don't know where she is. Okay. No, a dog in my butt. How much of that do I need to redo? Okay. Just this part. Thank you, Dodger. Stop. Oh. 
God, the magic pixel. Eileen didn't make it. Oh my god. Eileen, please. Eileen, please. Follow me through the fucking gate. Dog ending. Freaking out. Walter's right next to me. Ah, oh, she made it through this time. A. We made it. You're doing great, Eileen. That's not helping. All right, I need to go get a heal. Worst haunting. Because you just, you can just take damage as soon as you show up in your room. Um, let's just take the big heal. And... I hate to use it, but I've got to use it to get rid of that one in the bedroom. For those who don't know, you can equip a saint medallion instead of a uh, holy candle and use that to get rid of hauntings. So this little Walter haunting in the closet. Equip our saint medallion. And the haunting is gone. You can see we also heal our HP gradually. Oh, 
All right. Yeah. Not much. Not much to be done about Eileen freaking out at this point. Unless we find some more uh, heals. Come on. Water prison too. Our our big showdown with Andrew. Walter. us around. <gasps> Try and walk Eileen down there. Kill it. Kill it, Eileen. Shoot it with your fucking gun that I gave you. You can run Eileen. Hell, even if she is going to stop and freak out, like shoot some bugs. Shoot the bugs. Eileen, fucking shoot it. It's fine. I'm just going to unequip your gun. Getting tired. I know, I'm getting tired too. But we've got a lot more marathon. can stay in there now. Um. And I need to go into the middle area. Need to go get Andrew DeSalvo's shirt.
Oh my god, so many Walters! Whoa, something like fell into the water there. There's so many enemies randomized here, it like fell. Oh, and then it dropped. There's so much weird shit. <laughs> There's so much chaos. Oh my god, this is randomizer. This is the randomizer. Holy shit. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. No, I want this. I need this item. It was another Saint Medallion. Worth it. Oh my god. No, no, no. Oh my god, my head spinning around. My legs are flying out of my butt. Okay. Don't worry about everything you just saw. We made it. We did it. We're doing things. This is peak randomizer. This hallway, that stairwell, for whatever reason, breaks the randomized character models. And, uh, yeah. It's fun. Use our Saint Medallion to get rid of this haunting. This whole rando has great RNG and lots of funny moments. Silent Hill 4's randomizers are always just like so crazy and funny in the best ways. I wish there was stuff like this for the other Silent Hill games. There's an enemy randomizer for Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3. But it's only enemies, and it's okay. It's it's kind of fun, but it's not the same level of chaos as weapons and items and characters and everything else being randomized like it is for 4. I would love a randomizer like this with all the same options and stuff for the other games. That'd be amazing. Okay. We used Andrew's shirt. I need to go kill Andrew again. We don't need this. We don't need that. We do need a sword of obedience. A heal, just in case. A silver bullet. And a pistol. And I'm going to take a short break, and then we'll come back and fight Andrew. Uh, but I'll be back in a moment.
right. Let's Let's do it. Got our heel, got our medallion, got our sword, got our pistol, got our silver bullet. Let's also take some regular pistol bullets. Oh, I take an extra silver bullet if we want to pin another. Nah, we'll just worry about Andrew. We'll just worry about Andrew right now. All right, Eileen. Put the pistol. Put the silver bullet. Try not to waste it. I like how we got randomized monkeys in here making sound during the cutscene. Okay, yep, yep, this is all normal. All functioning exactly as anticipated. Got his ass. All right, I'm just gonna float away. Exorcist style. Let's just get the fuck on out of here. <laughs> Walter thinks it's funny too. I need this saint medallion. Which is actually revolver bullets. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Everything was fine. Uh, we need Eileen. There is an item over here. It might. It's usually a first aid kit. Obviously, it's going to be randomized to something else. Maybe it will still be a heal. Right here. Hello, penis worm. It was. Not the kind of heal that I needed. We got another Eileen heal. Just got back. What the hell is happening? Randomizers. Now with 100% more head twist floating action. Dead, god damn it. We, we dealt with Andrew, but now the hard part's gonna be getting Eileen through that fucking chaos. Thank you. 
He doesn't fix this bug. Oh, I know. I uh, I kind of love it. Just add Ghost Henry as as a as its own mode. following running down here. She's on her way. I believe. I hear her. Hey! Let's go, Eileen. It was ghost floating. Please, Eileen, please. Keep going. Good shit. Hey, Lila at Night. Uh, played Silent Hill 4 on stream last month. Aside from a few tedious flaws, think it's the second best in the series. I feel like the flaws put it down a little bit lower than second, personally. It's my fourth favorite. But, you know, they each their own. I've only been playing this game for 20 years. What the fuck do I know? <laughs> 20 years? Yep, this game came out in 2004. Been playing all the games since they came out. Hey, Pogoli, thank you. Thank you, Pero. Three is your favorite. One and four follow closely. Two is my favorite. Three is very... Three is practically tied with two. It's so close. And then Silent Hill 1 is like third. 
704 is fourth. And then all the other games exist. Nice. Another Eileen heal. I'm gonna shove <gasps> Eileen violently into this corner to try to make her stay here. Oop. Just like that. Let me go. Thought they stopped making games after four. We'll just, we'll, we'll go with that. Look at Beta Henry. He found his lower jaw. His feet are not attached to his forehead. I'm going to see my mom. Stay out of my way! Who are you, anyway? My name's Walter. Walter Sullivan. It's time to complete the 21 sacraments. But that's my name. And what are the 21 sacraments? I don't trust any child that knows the word don't sacraments. Worry. You'll know soon enough. Well, let's go and see Mother. Let me go, that hurts! Damn. <laughs> like you were gonna do something. But you see how Eileen- no. Stop that! See how Eileen is on the other side of the fence? If you leave her there by bumping into her the way that I did, and then go to this area, she'll clip through that fence and follow you. So, it saves you uh, quite a bit of backtracking to get Eileen on the elevator to get to this point. Eileen's a ghost. This part is honestly really dangerous. Oh no, it happened. Nope, it didn't. Okay. Eileen? Okay. That part, you can get two wheelchairs hitting Eileen at the same time and it'll just lock her in place like she can't move. That room can be a little bit scary. <laughs> she okay? She's limping? Yeah, she's fine. Doing just fine. Keep the health on us just in case. I'm going to switch the gun out for... Take the bat, actually.
All right, Eileen. Whole bunch of bugs to deal with down here. And then one truth. difference. Can't see. Come on, hit the bug. Ah. Oh my god, the only thing hitting anything is Eileen hitting herself. Wasn't Ascension supposed to go New Game Plus? It's still on the first run. Ascension is still going. Ascension is running until, like, August. They took their winter break. They came back from winter break. Everything is still happening as scheduled. They're still on the first run through of the story. Should be wrapping up in, like, I don't know. It started in... It started on Halloween. So basically, November 1st. November, December. They took January. February. March. April should be wrapping up the first go-around. And then I think there's another break. And they come back. And then it runs until August with the New Game Plus. RNG. Eileen, I really wish you wouldn't, like, intentionally walk into the bat. Questionable design choices. Let's have Eileen walk right up to you, but also friendly fire. So if you're trying to use any kind of attack near her, you'll likely just hit her yourself. <laughs> Stuff like this. That's why I'm saying this game's a bit more flawed than just making it like second best Silent Hill game I think is uh, a little much okay. opinions and all that 
Oh yeah, absolutely terrible one truth RNG. That headbutt. We love hard mode HP. All right, Lilite, have a have a good night. What a tease. Just go stand in a corner anywhere but directly in front of my bat and directly under an enemy. Martian dude, thank you. And Clarden, thank you for the 33 months. Welcome back. Found the one sub. The one sub. Thank you for being my one sub. Terrible one sub RNG. <laughs> Bobacan. Thank you, thank you. She's clapping. She's so nice. Give us a round of applause. for one of my favorite cutscenes. I honestly do like this cutscene. As weird as it is, the uh, talking with Joseph cutscene, I think mostly I like the music. But the scene itself is also just, I don't know, super weird. Yeah, Joseph saying kill a whole bunch. I don't know. I like it. What sort of playthrough is this? Speed run? Uh, marathon. So I'm trying to finish as many games as I can before I just completely crash out and fall asleep. Um, the gameplay is kind of speed run, but not like high level competitive, super serious speed runs. And also, I'm letting cutscenes play. So we're trying to get through the games kind of quickly so I can play a lot of games in the marathon. But it's not, like, skipping stuff, speedruns. I'm not doing any major skips or anything. It's him. You've done well. 
Joseph. That face? Yeah, don't worry about Henry. He's uh Walter He's having a bad day. Don't don't point it out too much. Don't don't stare. It's rude. My apartment was actually his birth mother. He decided to free her from the stains and corruption of this world. At the orphanage, he learned of the 21 sacraments, the only way to purify her. He then performed the ceremony of the Holy Assumption and created this twisted world. Now, he's become nothing more than an inhuman killing machine. Well, He's dead now, but he's still trying to complete the 21 sacraments. His boyhood desire to return to the bosom of his birth has divided him. Now his child self has manifested itself in this world, and soon He's planning to finish his work, the 21 sacraments. Number 20, the mother reborn, Eileen Galvin. Number 21, the receiver of wisdom, Henry Townsend. The receiver of head feet. Even now, it may not be too late. Follow the crimson tone. Stop her. If not, wherever you are, he will catch you. Find him. His true location it must be nearby you must kill him you must kill him kill 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 hurry She's Good lord, these camera angles. The mother was born. The crimson pole. This game isn't banned from Twitch. <laughs> Joseph starts getting distracted. Kill. 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 Ass. Sorry. Cheeks. Kill. Uh, sorry. Kill. I meant to say, but I mean, kill. kill. Right. I think we got to kill this Walter guy. <laughs> I think he might want us to kill this Walter. Walter fella. Receiver of wisdom? What wisdom? Joseph's wisdom. The wisdom he just gave him. All the notes he's been giving him. All the lore he just dumped on him. You serious? I just told you. Yeah, exactly. Receiver of wisdom? What wisdom? <laughs> so, why male models? <laughs> Kinda. Kinda moment. I just told you. Oh, my chair is dirty! Do I have a, uh... 
Do I have any cleaner? Do I have any fabric cleaner? I'm all out of fabric cleaner. Fuck. God, it's Sephiroth. Did Sephiroth do this? What's wrong with his face? Just randomizer things. I love this detail. So you got Walter... His actual body back here behind the wall of 302. But all this stuff here is the rebirth ending ritual items from Silent Hill 2. The white oil, white chrism, the obsidian goblet, uh, the crimson tome. Alter? Body's tangled up. I love this. Extremely evil looking keys. The keys themselves are evil. Hey, what's up, Hawk? Good morning. Hope you're doing well. And nobody smelled it? I know. I'm willing to believe all this crazy cult magic but nobody smelled the body in the wall. I mean, it is a pretty shitty apartment. No way. Like the whole building in general not is not too. well kept. Frank is not the best uh, superintendent. So maybe the building just already smelled horrible. And no one noticed a little Eileen? extra corpse smell. Hi, Eileen. Welcome back. I'll leave you behind forever. <laughs> Walter used evil scented sticks to hide the smell. Maybe. Um, he does have like all of the all of the like tubes running through him. Maybe he's supposed to be somewhat, like, embalmed, preserved. Drained out all those smelly bodily juices. Yeah, some evil. 
evil Febreze. Speaking of which, he's like right here. Yeah, you, you smelly fuck. Okay. Alright, see you later. The revolver was replaced by a fucking golf club. The six iron. Hell yeah. Richard just left behind his golf club. It's fine. We're just gonna borrow it. Walter's childhood trauma. If that story hears him, we're in trouble. Give me the drinks. I just don't like the look of it. Uh, what was it? Silver bullet? That doesn't help. thing about these cutscenes, that one we just saw, and this one uh, we're about to see, they they vary pretty drastically depending on Eileen's uh, possession level. So if she's very possessed, you see what happens. She's basically full on reverting into child little Walter. Um, if she's only partially possessed, it's different, and uh, if she's basically not uh, cursed, not possessed at all, it's different. So you have like three different variations on uh, on this cutscene, uh, or the one we just saw, and this next one, depending on Eileen's condition at this point. And her condition is completely fucked. We're playing on hard mode, randomized enemies, and we were using the machine gun. So, uh, Eileen never stood a chance. Leave me. 
There she goes. That's about how quickly she's going to sprint towards the uh, swirling death ball at the end, too. to save her on hard mode? Uh, no. On, like, easy or normal, um, you have to be really good with your Walter fight. But you can still save her. It's just super difficult. But nah. On, on hard difficulty, max possession, ain't no way. We don't even have good weapons and stuff for Walter. Saving Eileen in general is horrible, but on normal or easy, it's at least doable. Yeah, pretty much. This this game is very unforgiving when it comes to uh, protecting Eileen and getting the good endings. Sorry, I need to take another quick break, but I will be right back and then we will destroy Walter or get destroyed. We'll see. Uh, back in a moment.
Okay. Let's finish up Silent Hill 4. And I still owe everyone a playthrough of Homecoming. I'm going to probably save that for next stream. Um, just getting up and taking a break and walking around, I can feel I'm starting to get kind of lightheaded. I've been up for almost 24 hours, and I was dealing with some really, really stressful stuff yesterday morning because my yard flooded and my garage flooded. So thank you everyone for all the love and support today that seriously, it's been awesome celebrating seven years of being a partner on Twitch. And uh, again, just getting all the help from everybody to uh, help cover the costs of all the, the damage from the flooding and replacing all the water pipes and everything. So thank you guys so much for being here. But yeah, I'm going to finish up Silent Hill 4. We're going to call it a night. Uh, depending on the plumbers and everything going on tomorrow, I may or may not be back on. But Monday, I should definitely be back. And we'll do Homecoming and whatever other games um, people vote for. Man, our options for fighting Walter suck. <clears throat> and we don't have heals. Not specific to British or American. Oh, um, so with Silent Hill 4... With Silent Hill 4 specifically, that is a difference between the... Um, NTSC and PAL versions, the North American and PAL uh, Europe release. So in the North American version, it's Mom, M-O-M, -M, and Mommy, M-O-M-M-Y. Uh, in the PAL Europe release of Silent Hill 4, it's Mum, M-U-M, and Mummy. Um, the, I'm playing the good old games version, which uses the PAL version of Silent Hill 4 uh, which is why the subtitles and stuff all say mum the voice actors all say mom um, but yeah that's one of those little differences between uh, the North American and, and European release hey Fugu thank you fuck did I join to? <laughs> the beautiful, amazing, cinematic uh, finale of Silent Hill 4. <laughs> Why is his face mangled? Uh, I'm using a randomizer mod that uh, swaps character models around during cutscenes. And... Uh, it breaks and makes them look all crazy, and uh, I love it. Trust me, it's adding to the experience. Oh, 
Oh, I agree. I think it's an improvement. <laughs> Look how fast Eileen is going. She's already almost in the pool. Pick up the fork. She's fine. She's faking it. Enjoy the ending. Uh, as said, that's going to be the end of the marathon for me uh, for tonight. Next time I'm on, uh, possibly Sunday night, possibly Monday night, we will uh, continue the marathon. Silent Hill Homecoming, and then we'll run some votes to see what else we play. But uh, that'll be it for me tonight. Thank you all so much for all the love and support. Enjoy the ending. <laughs>
And now the news. Yesterday in Ashfield and the woods near Silent Hill, the bodies of five men and women were discovered. The police reported that all the murders appeared to be the work of the same perpetrator. They are continuing their investigation. Four of the victims were found dead at the scene, and the fifth victim, a Miss Eileen Galvin, was transported to St. Jerome's Hospital, where she died a short time later. Police say that Miss Galvin's injuries matched exactly those of the other victims. Eileen... ending uh no i actually cleansed hauntings i kind of had to otherwise i would have taken damage while uh at some critical moments but thank you all so much for being here i appreciate all the love and support thank you for celebrating seven years of being a partner on twitch a lot of you have 
been around since even before I was a partner. Uh, you know, our community is uh, relatively small for someone who's been streaming as long as I have, but we've got a lot of really wonderful people in our community who've been just absolutely amazing. A lot of crazy, knowledgeable, diehard Silent Hill fans. And I couldn't thank you all enough for just spending your time here with me and enjoying what I do. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all again so, so much. Uh, like I said, I've got a lot of chaos going on right now with uh, my yard having flooded and my garage having flooded. Hopefully that gets taken care of. I should actually have plumbers out here in a few hours, so I'm going to go catch a short nap, wake up in a few hours, deal with plumbers and my yard being torn up. We'll see how much the damage winds up being and costing. Uh, but thank you all for all the love and support. It's going to make a huge, huge dent in that bill. So you guys are absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, like I said, Marathon is the end of the stream for now, but Marathon's not over. I'm going to be back, if not uh, tonight, Sunday evening. Um, then I'll definitely be back Monday evening for Silent Hill Homecoming plus one or two others um, depending on what people vote for we'll see what everyone wants to see us uh, play next time but till then take it easy everyone be good to each other much love everybody peace